in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Hallelujah. I want to appreciate everyone. Thank you so much for your commitment, especially for those outside. Um, it truly is a sacrifice and we honor you as always. Those online following us from any part of the world, we bless you. You're part of us. The Lord will do you good in Jesus name. Amen. The Holy Spirit part two. Three weeks ago we started a series on the Holy Spirit and um, we had two weeks off one with Pastor Jimmy and then the miracle service so we'll take it off from there the course curriculum was uh, number one understanding the person of the Holy Spirit and then number two the ministry of the Holy Spirit and that's what I'll be discussing today and then number three the ministry of the spirit that will be next week by the grace of God we started I apologize for the sound I'm sure they are working on it we started by discussing and attempting to understand the person of the Holy Spirit if you were not around during the first um, session please try to get the teachings they are free after service but we did the goal of the last teaching was to validate the fact that the holy spirit is god to validate the fact that the holy spirit is not just an influence it's not just a thing not oil not candle but that he is god and um maybe i should just reiterate uh, to buttress on all that we established we said that the Holy Spirit possesses the attributes of a person now there are three factors that make anything a person the concept of personhood or personality you must possess a will you must possess emotions you must possess intellect so the will emotion intellect any entity any object that possesses a will emotion intellect has a personality are we together now and so the bible clearly tells us that the holy spirit has a will meaning he can make decisions because you use your will to make decisions the holy spirit has emotions meaning he can feel he has feelings the holy spirit can be grieved for instance and then number three he has intellect that means he can think so the holy spirit is a person um you may want to write a few scriptures we'll do a lot of um hopefully scripture reading just to help us the bible tells us when you read from the book of acts 16 6 to 7 you don't have to turn their media just validating that the holy spirit has a will and then first corinthians 12 11 these are two scriptures acts 16 verse 6 to 7 first corinthians 12 verse 11 validates that the holy spirit has a will the holy spirit has emotions ephesians chapter 4 and verse 30 ephesians 4 and verse 30 the holy spirit has intellect romans chapter 8 and verse 27 Romans chapter 8 and verse 27 
and then first Corinthians 2 verse 10 to 11 I need us to be on the same a level playing ground tonight um, because I know that many of us come from different uh, I don't mean to be insulted but different religions some of us and even in Christianity we come from different sects with different perspectives about God and I understand that there are many people who do not accept the Holy Spirit as a person they accept him as an influence they accept him as um, um, in fact some believe that he's one of the angelic cadres. he's not I have proven it to us and then the Bible clearly tells us again that the Holy Spirit is God amen so let's deal with the ministry of the Holy Spirit I want you to really pay attention because this tonight's teaching will be examining the need the advantage the benefit and the operation of the Holy Spirit in our lives now that we have agreed that he's a person sent from God we have to examine why is he such a big deal because let me tell you something there are many believers who think discussing about the Holy Spirit is inaccurate you know you hear them say look it is Jesus we want to know he's the one who died for our sins what is all this idea about the Holy Spirit is Jesus we want to know and um, you know they make it look as though the teaching of the Holy Spirit is some kind of occultic movement and it is important for us to understand his ministry in our lives John chapter 16 for our text tonight let's look at the book of John chapter 16 Jesus is teaching the disciples here and um, in the chapter before he began to introduce them to the personality of the Holy Spirit and then he went further to let them know the things that he would be doing his ministry let's read from verse 7 John chapter 16 from verse 7 we're reading down um, to 15 7 to 15 quite a long reading ready nevertheless okay I tell you the truth it is what expedient the word expedient is advantageous to your own advantage for you that I go away for if I go not away the comforter notice all the names that he's used because his names are also a representation of his operation and his ministry it's in the character of God to name things according to their usage um, how some people do a lot of that they name people based on what they do so you can you don't need to ask what the person is doing they can name him by his occupation or profession we do that a lot in the north this is where uh, this whole idea came from so when he's called the comforter that introduces a dimension of his ministry the comforter will not come to you but if I depart I will send him to you we're reading down to 15 and when he is come he will reprove the world of sin righteousness and judgment verse 9 of sin because they believe not on me of righteousness because I go to my father and ye see me no more of judgment because the prince of this world is judged I have yet many things to say unto you but ye cannot bear them now now that's that's a very interesting we can stop there and spend all the night please go back to verse 12 it says ye cannot bear them now this is very powerful I'm, I'm coming to that point ye cannot bear them now does not mean they are too heavy for you your organs of interaction with the realm of the spirit the capacity to understand spiritual things has not been activated that means the word ye cannot bear them means it will not be profitable to you if I attempt to explain it to you are we together now because the natural man cannot receive the things of the spirit nor can he understand them they are spiritually discerned are we together how be it next verse when he the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into how many truth he will guide you into the word sanctify them by thy truth thy word is truth so he will guide you into all truth for he shall speak 
he shall not speak of himself but whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak and he will show you things to come he shall glorify me for he shall receive of mine and shall show it to you 15 all things that the father hath are mine therefore said i that he shall take of mine and shall show it to you praise the lord the holy spirit in as much as it is important for us to know he's a person we must be able to know that he was sent by god to accomplish specific things in the earth the holy spirit's ministry cuts across creation and humans he is not limited just to human beings you have to understand this the ministry of the holy spirit miles munro dr miles munro calls him the governor of the earth how powerful a description are we together now not the governor of men the holy spirit's ministry for many of us even among the charismatics we have limited the ministry of the holy spirit to just men and so we feel that the holy spirit has no relevance in culture the holy spirit has no relevance to plants and animals the holy spirit has no relevance to creation that's not true when you read genesis chapter one he was the very force his first manifestation was not as a helper of man are we together now it was his presence representing the power of god that brought order and dexterity to creation i want you to know the bible says he uphold thing he upholds all things by the word of his power the holy spirit is the mystery that holds creation together you have to realize this he's not just um one force that was sent to men and so if you are not a man you are not relevant no 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 we see the holy spirit's ministry finding expression even in animals donkeys spoke that's a manifestation of the power of the holy spirit rods bordered that's a manifestation of the power of the holy spirit a rod turned to a serpent and back again water parted all of these things we see his power the might of the spirit of god demonstrated all through creation so i want us to know that the relevance of the holy spirit cuts across culture cuts across animate and inanimate things the relevance of the holy spirit cuts across civilization whether the 18th 19th 20th 21st century and whatever it is the relevance of the holy spirit cuts across dispensations dispensations when you realize this the holy spirit does not become he no longer becomes an issue of christians please listen the holy spirit is not just on earth for christians the holy spirit is god he is the spirit of god as i'm going to be teaching you the holy spirit has a ministry to creation he has a ministry in our world today cosmos the social system the holy spirit has a ministry to unbelievers the holy spirit has a ministry to believers are we together now so regardless of what category you find yourself you need the person and the ministry of the holy spirit say amen because if we do not understand some of these things we can feel the holy spirit is a nuisance and he's only needed by those who want to heal the sick that's the ideology many people receive so every time we talk about the holy spirit we leave him to pastors and apostles and prophets and all those who want to be part of ministry as we know i'm a businessman i don't need him i'm a politician i don't need him i'm a career person i don't need him that's a fallacy the holy spirit is needed for life and godliness he is the life of god he is the power of god ignoring the holy spirit and any aspect of his ministry will cost you your effectiveness everyone say i need him jesus the model of the church the very son of the living god the firstborn among we the begotten jesus was helpless on the earth the holy spirit was required 
to get Mary pregnant he played the fatherly role of Mary the Holy Spirit was required are we together now in in the the growth and the understanding of Jesus as he grew in wisdom statue the Holy Spirit was responsible for his empowerment the Holy Spirit was responsible for that invincible and flawless life that Jesus lived the Holy Spirit was responsible for supplying the grace for his passion the Holy Spirit was responsible for his resurrection the Holy Spirit was responsible for his ascension responsible for the birthing the holy spirit is the mother that birthed the church we can never ignore his ministry and prosper listen to me please whether you are presbyterian whether you are an atheist whether you are a muslim christian buddhist whatever religion whether you are you are a christian catholic pentecostal charismatic orthodox you know whatever it is I want you to know that the Holy Spirit please come the Holy Spirit was not sent as a choice for Christians no the Holy Spirit is God's gift to earth God's gift to humanity regardless whether you are a sinner he has a ministry in your life whether you are born again he has a ministry in your life in business in ministry as we call it fivefold whatever it is we have ignored his ministry in fact in fact many believers do not doubt that there is an existence of such a personality called the holy spirit you will seldom find people argue with you about the existence of such a personality however in fact many have even supposedly received him it's one thing to receive the holy spirit but it's another thing for his ministry to be activated in your life that you have received the holy spirit and you are even praying in tongues does not necessarily mean his ministry has been activated in your life are we together help me with this bottle of water watch this give it to me i have received this water is that true but this water was designed to accomplish specific things in me quench my thirst help me become healthy now if i keep holding this bottle for a long time i am not in doubt that there is such a possibility i know i'm feeling it i hold this bottle so if you talk about the bottle i say wow yes i hold it i'm a possessor of it but i'm not a benefactor of the advantage the possibilities that this bottle could bring i can die of thirst yet i am holding a bottle of purified water that can quench my thirst so don't be caught up with this self pride and arrogance that i know him after all the name of my church is holy spirit uh, maybe assembly or something and you convince yourself that because you mention his name and talk about him so much it means you know him no thank you the advantage that were designed were designed to take advantage of his person and his ministry not his person alone an awareness of you if this guy is a um what do we call it now let's assume that this guy is a very good driver being aware that he's a good driver is wonderful but that does not profit me if this guy now drives me then i am enjoying his ministry brothers and sisters thank you very much many of us seated here and listening to me following online have not maximized the ministry of the holy spirit we have not even allowed him we have not allowed him and i'll be showing you shortly there are specific things the holy spirit was sent to achieve in our lives i won't talk so much about his ministry to creation my focus especially in this series is on men we have been discussing the issue of men we really want to understand the dynamics of triumph and we're examining the ministry of the holy spirit with respect to men the holy spirit has a twofold assignment please write with respect to his ministry to men he has a twofold assignment the assignment of the holy spirit to men is twofold number one his ministry to unbelievers that's the starting point of his encounter with men his ministry to unbelievers 
unbelievers those who are yet to encounter christ those who are yet to surrender their hearts to his lordship he has a ministry to them and then number two his ministry to believers or the church the ecclesia the holy spirit has a ministry to the body of christ not just to believers to the body because believers are part of that body so he has a ministry to unbelievers and then he has a ministry to believers the church the bride of christ several things the bible tells us that the holy spirit would do in the life of unbelievers let's look at them very quickly john 15 26 to 27 john 15 26 to 27 the bible says when the comforter is come listen jesus is teaching here whom i will send unto you from the father even the spirit of truth which proceeded from the father what will he do he shall what testify testify like a witness to my reality remember we discussed the last time that the holy spirit makes jesus real there is no amount of oratory there is no amount of audiovisual that is capable of making jesus real to a man no amount of jesus film no amount of um what do we call it uh, visual drawings that can attempt to paint it can just capture emotionally but it, it cannot reveal jesus the holy spirit is the one who testifies of jesus are we together now next verse 27 and ye also sh shall bear witness because ye have ye have been with me from the beginning jesus is saying the holy spirit will bear witness to unbelievers and just like him that will be for next week you will also end up being like him to men witnesses are we together the faithful witness is not a man he's the spirit of god he's called the faithful witness unbending the faithful witness testifying of him when you see people convicted give us john 6 44 when you see jesus come alive to people brothers and sisters listen the reason why it is not difficult for us to believe in jesus huh, is because we were born in a religious environment and so although we had not surrendered completely to him we were in an environment that seemed to appreciate his reality so it was not very difficult to switch are we together but if you were born a buddhist an atheist a non-christian or your father was involved in all kinds of um extreme witchcraft you will realize that it takes the power of the holy spirit to make jesus real why will you walk up to me and just tell me i am going to die i'm going to perish i should hand over my life to someone called jesus what is so special about him i'm already rich i'm already healthy i already live in a mansion i already live with all kinds of luxurious things why do i need jesus it's very easy in africa for people to receive jesus because our economy has already tilted us to uh, the point where we need a savior so it's very logical the moment you propose jesus and what he can do it makes a lot of sense to a man who is hungry but you see when you go around the world and meet men in their arrogance who have built empires without him what exactly should make a multi-millionaire what exactly should make a man who is a professor per excellence what exactly should make a man listen to you enough to respond to an altar call it takes the holy spirit it's not just good talk it's not just evangelism look at what he says here no man can come to me except the father and i told you there are two, two dimensions there is the father in heaven abba the source and sustainer residing in the heavens are we together the first person of the godhead then there is the father in me the holy spirit are we together now he says no man can come to me except the father which had sent me draw him and i will raise him up on the last day no man please hear me if you have ever given your life to jesus christ 
it never happened just by your willpower alone uh -uh. the holy spirit was there it's unfortunate right now we organize crusades without him emotional crusades we share tracts we put jesus theme at the end of it people cry you see them crying you think before you make the altar call they should come and lie down while you are making the altar call they are crying and they are still sitting down looking at you that's to tell you that this thing um, is the same thing that would happen to them if they watched an indian film are we together no man can come to me no man has the power to be so convinced just by the eloquence of men no your words are not articulate enough to cause a man who is 50 years in his mind as an atheist has written all kinds of scientific propositions disproving the existence of god and then you claim to speak to him in 20 minutes and have him bend down on his knees no it takes more than just intelligence it takes the power of the holy spirit i am it never ceases to amaze me the sermon of peter have you read acts chapter 2 what a boring sermon what a disjointed sermon i've been teaching our school of ministry homiletics for five years i've been teaching them how to preach and i understand certain things that should be contained in a good message to make sense Peter's message had only two of that five you're meeting a lot of people and then telling them some history that doesn't make sense wasting their time and then at the end I thought they would say what a boring man you gathered us here to waste our time the Bible says they were cut to the heart that's not the excellency of speech that's the power of God are we together the Holy Spirit convicts and draws the heart of unbelievers to Jesus. When you read John 16 from verse 7, it says that when he, the spirit of truth is come, please give it to us, John 16 verse 7. When the spirit of truth is come, it says he will reprove the world, the world of unbelievers of three things, of sin, righteousness, judgment go to verse um yes thank you verse 8 when he is come he will reprove the world of sin righteousness and judgment listen no man has the power to create conviction in men every man that tries to convict men brings condemnation to men are we together now it is not given to man to bring conviction no you can only partner with him it is the holy spirit who can convict a man brothers and sisters men are arrogant the fallen nature designed men that way when a man kneels down to the lordship of christ especially when he's an accomplished man then it was the power of the holy spirit are we together now when i make altar calls i am surprised sometimes i see the people coming out you know that he must have taken god to bring these people out they are even surprised as they are coming out what am i doing here the holy spirit how many pastors how many evangelists do all kinds of theological dissertations and they refuse his ministry they finish preaching and they call and people come out while you are praying the prayer somebody is pinching someone and say the camera is capturing us and they are laughing at the end of it you say amen and then you count the number of people and after 10 years we say we have won 1 million people to Christ the convicting power Ben Hinn shared something very powerful about the Holy Spirit that blessed me watch this without the Holy Spirit miracles will not change people <laughs> the nation of Israel saw more miracles than we will see combined in our generation yet yet the Bible called them a stiff-necked people when Jesus walked on earth John 20 tells us many more miracles did Jesus in the presence of his disciples which were not documented in this book so there are many more miracles we only know he walked on water because it was recorded there were many other miracles jesus did but the bible says when he resurrected some doubted 
how do you doubt a man who is this invincible he died Lazarus died he brought Lazarus back to life the son of the widow at Nain brought her back to life the daughter of the centurion brought her back to life made five loaves and two fish to feed five thousand men aside women and children walked on water had a, a harvest of fish without any kind of assistance yet the people doubted him when Jesus died they all ran away when he resurrected they did not even believe Thomas said no way I will have to see him and put my hand in his hands and his side why the Holy Spirit was not given to them the Holy Spirit it is possible don't forget that Jesus sent the 12 and the 70 all together they went out to go and do evangelism they themselves said even the demons brothers and sisters when a demon bows to you that's like the apex of a demonstration of spiritual power yet they doubted Jesus they doubted the life of God you can go to theology school without the Holy Spirit preach for many years and one day hang yourself and say I don't believe this have you seen people after several years of preaching who just look at this I once saw a book I didn't read it of a man who was once a Christian and then I think he refused to be a Christian and he said it's nonsense he said there are many inconsistencies in the Bible and frankly speaking physically when you look at what he's saying he brought a lot of logical things from a historical perspective from an archaeological perspective from even a logical perspective from a prophetic perspective brought all these things together and just said Christians are wasting their time this is complete nonsense we have been as indoctrinated as whatever produce the book this is somebody who was once in Christ are we together without the Holy Spirit you cannot truly experience the reality of Jesus you will be claiming he's real to you it is the absence of the ministry of the Holy Spirit that makes people to stand and sing hallelujah and all of a sudden when things go wrong they just go to a herbalist and they say after all it doesn't matter every power belongs to God when you see people talk like that they are not enjoying the ministry of the Holy Spirit you join a charm come to church and receive prophecy and then add another broomstick that they gave you in one coven mix everything and say it's just different ways of manifesting the power of god no sir no sir now i'm talking to africa some of us here our parents is amazing there are pastors who love god they are not fake but the ministry of the holy spirit is not in them the moment especially when people get sick you see people bringing all kinds of alternatives they tell you they're in Christ and you look at what they are doing they say no 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 the guy is not exactly a herbalist he's just gifted by who everybody's influenced by a spirit are we together now very very important what is his ministry to unbelievers conviction and recognition of the need for Jesus what is his ministry to unbelievers conviction and recognition of the need for Jesus that's his assignment to unbelievers he has the exclusive ministry of bringing conviction supernatural conviction like some of you now are being convicted supernaturally is very supernatural is the, there's no there's no physical logic to it this is something that is entirely supernatural can bring a man to his knees to embrace Jesus Saul of Tarsus was on his way to Damascus a man who was so hardened you will imagine when they were killing the Matthias Stephen it was it was Saul that sat down and they kept their clothes at his feet Yet he later became the greatest one of the greatest of the apostles listen how we need the truth about Jesus 
to spread across our families to spread across territory the issue of introducing jesus to people listen 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 i don't like giving it religious names because we have abused religious names if i say evangelism now i know what comes to your mind a tract and people two by two strolling and knocking someone's door that's wonderful that's an aspect of evangelism but this is if you see introducing jesus to creation is a matter of life and death it's not an option by a sect to increase their membership no jesus is the answer for the world today you know that song above him there's no other jesus is the way jesus is the answer for the world today above him there's no other jesus is the way how we need everyone around us saved how we need do you know most of the confusion in our society is because men are governed by an ideology that is outside of the christ look at the way heaven is total submission to the lordship of the christ look at the dexterity and the order our world our government our politicians our business people have no respect and recognition for jesus the issue of him of opening up the hearts of men to receive jesus is not an activity for preachers no the holy spirit has a ministry the first and primary way that the earth will be full of the knowledge of the glory of christ is not building of luxurious structures and having multi-millionaires spread across a church the first thing is the establishment of the lordship of christ across the hearts of men number one first things first i don't care how rich a church becomes i don't care how prosperous i don't care how educated a people become if jesus is not institutionalized in an environment there is trouble when ebola broke out something that is a temporary thing governments came together to drive it out because they perceived it to be a threat jesus lessness is a threat is a threat to humanity a life truly without jesus please hear me this is not an initiation into a christian's religion there's nothing as terrible as a life that does not acknowledge jesus as we are seated here there are many of our loved ones who are not saved completely not saved they laugh at you every time you make ah, don't bring any jesus thing please i'm not a small child we did all those things so when we were young you hear them say now that we are old we are facing life intelligently jesus has been tagged a nuisance to civilization you mention him and you see the disdain especially on young people you mention jesus is as if you mention unemployment you mention jesus is as if you mention barrenness who indoctrinated us who pushed away the ministry of the holy spirit such that we cannot even partner with him to allow men listen the holy spirit is still on earth today carrying out a massive campaign on unbelievers what is he doing convicting them that's why you find out that right now find out what is happening across the world especially the middle east mighty manifestations of jesus people having encounters of jesus since we are not going to be serious since we are more interested in making money since we are more interested in having building empires and being called apostles and prophets the holy spirit himself engineering conversions in whole families without the assistance of a single individual he said if you will not praise me i will raise up stones everybody say conviction say it again conviction say recognition do you know do you know that saul was not part of those who walked with jesus christ yes he was a pharisee 
but he was not part of those who walked with jesus christ but the moment he encountered jesus he called him lord see for those of you who have had visionary encounters let me tell you something in fact any kind of encounter if it is the holy spirit that introduces jesus to you you must acknowledge him as lord if it's a preacher that introduced jesus to you without the assistance of the holy spirit you may just see him as an intelligent historian one of the many and you will clap for him every religion believes in jesus but as what as what hallelujah say conviction we need to allow the holy spirit step into our homes and change our loved ones step into our offices and change people step into governments of nations the decadence that is eating up society is as a result of this exclusion thing holy spirit remain in church his first ministry is not to throw people under the anointing no his first ministry to men is to introduce jesus to them he makes jesus real although never seen him we believe him why the holy spirit the faithful witness the faithful witness have you ever seen him to believe him how can you be this convinced the spirit of god he makes jesus real without the holy spirit an unbeliever can even come out and recite salvation prayer and not be born again hallelujah the saints and the angels bow the redeemed worship you now holy 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 are you lord holy 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 are you lord powerful song holy 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 are you lord and the angels bow the redeemed worship you now holy 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 are you lord i'd like us to pray one minute and say holy spirit i give you access to every unbeliever in my life i allow you step into my home step into my office are we praying koinonia holy spirit my village is in need of your touch holy spirit my office is in need of your touch holy spirit my campus is in need of your touch holy spirit my environment nigeria is in need of your touch holy spirit africa is in need of your touch holy spirit my people are in need of your touch bring conviction bring conviction bring conviction bring conviction bring conviction to my father bring conviction to my mother bring conviction to my sisters bring conviction to my brothers are you praying lord i'm tired of talking to them every time and they insult me i've been doing it without you but holy spirit visit them yourself you are the only one who can make jesus real the way my father is no preacher can lead him to christ he needs you by himself the way my unbelieving brother is they need you lift your voice and pray we are talking about the holy spirit here hallelujah listen let me teach you something about intercession for souls when you are praying for souls don't just pray blindly oh god save them no cry for an encounter with them and the spirit of god it's a collision one person must give up 
if it's the holy spirit no 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 you can't hit the holy spirit and it goes back it's a joke if the holy spirit comes it will swallow up every stubbornness it was here some years ago while i was teaching on the reality of heaven and hell one person who i think he was an ustas or something like that had read arabic was sitting in the overflow outside i don't know how the i'm sure just for curiosity just came to sit down and listen and while i was speaking all of a sudden he said the moment i was speaking it's as if outside just became blood and everywhere just vanished and there he was standing alone with jesus the son of the living god while koinonia was going on that guy broke down gave his life to christ god filled with the holy spirit now that's the holy spirit at work please listen many of us are suffering today because the heads of our home have thrown him out so he can come in he can come into your life but not your home because the doorway the priest of the house has willingly kicked him out many of our fathers don't recognize him many of our mothers don't recognize him you talk about him oh, please don't bring all those church church garbages you need to pray and say holy spirit you are the testifier of jesus you are the testifier of jesus i'll never forget one of the most awesome testimonies that we've had in this ministry one of our ladies uh, long before she left it was a non-christian family everyone then she was the first to get born again and kept growing and building and then gradually i think it was her mom who later got born again supernaturally a non-christian family not just a few people and then gradually i think her younger brother or thereabout got born again everyone got born again and it was the dad that was left he was angry already persecuting them criticizing them you know you know what i'm talking about withdrawal of benefits etc etc and then one time i would never forget one night we we're preparing to go for prayers and this lady comes to me crying and saying the lord has done it god is faithful what happened i don't know what made the father to meander into living faith fire fell on his head that day do you know the holy spirit has a way of navigating a man who has no business going for a crusade he will just be passing and say what who is this guy shouting and stand there and that's it that's the end of it do you believe what i'm sharing with you his ministry to unbelievers if you know this never never get rid of anyone the holy spirit has not given up on are you hearing some of us have our brothers our sisters our loved ones they smoke around they snuff everything as stubborn as whatever you give them a bible they sell it and use the money to drink all kinds of things when the holy spirit meets them one day you will just see that gentleman who used to dress like a thief holding his bible and saying are we not going for koinonia and you say no, no. oh it will happen oh it will happen in the name of jesus why are you surprised have you forgotten how you used to be have you forgotten so soon that the holy spirit can convict men number two quickly his ministry to believers and i want to dwell here a little and then The Holy Spirit has a very extensive ministry to believers who are believers recipients of the life and the power of God recipients of the grace and the mercy of God those who have been redeemed partakers of his divine nature now write this down please give us 2nd Corinthians 13 verse 14 and then Philippians chapter 2 verse 1 2nd Corinthians 13 14 a popular scripture in the body of Christ the ministry of the Holy Spirit in a believer is primarily carried out through communion fellowship please understand this the ministry of the Holy Spirit in the life of a believer the principal channel for the Holy Spirit manifesting his ministry and trust me I know what I'm talking about the Holy Spirit's the chiefest way 
that he manifests his ministry in a believer is through communion please give us amplified if we can find it the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and then he says and the presence and fellowship the communion the sharing together the participation in and then king james says of the holy spirit be with you amen so there is a fellowship say fellowship there is a communion say communion without the communion of the holy spirit the holy spirit cannot find his ministry cannot find expression through a believer what is communion fellowship what is communion oneness are we together now let me teach you something listen um i know you're writing can i use you again thank you there is the dimension of the ministry of the holy spirit in you there is the dimension of the ministry of the holy spirit with you alos paracletos one who is called to walk an extension of the ministry of jesus are we together now both are very important but communion is the key communion intimacy koinonia the word are we together that participation fellowship a recognition of himself in your life and then that allowance creating the atmosphere your assignment in terms of your partnership with the holy spirit as far as communion is concerned is to create the atmosphere create the atmosphere create the atmosphere for communion to be possible create the atmosphere for fellowship communion does not happen anywhere and anyhow there is an atmosphere there is a state of being there is a state of surrender that can cause communion to be a possibility in the life of a person thank you hallelujah many of us fail to create that atmosphere every other thing that i'm going to be listing here is communion dependent is fellowship dependent if you do not have what the bible calls the fellowship of the spirit it is impossible to access these other dimensions of his ministry fellowship philippians chapter 2 verse 1 philippians chapter 2 verse 1 it says if there be therefore any consolation in christ if any comfort of love then it says if any fellowship there is such a thing as the fellowship of the spirit fellowship of the spirit fellowship of the spirit that introduces you to a lot of other things when i sat down i watched ejimi and his dear daughter he was busy talking with her that's fellowship communion koinonia and then after a while of conversation she left with his phone I think he put a game for her and she was happily going and I said that's the fringe benefit of communion it started with her coming to him they were discussing I did not know and then as a result she had access many of us want to access the riches of Christ the blessings of Christ but we ignore the place of communion the platform upon which the ministry of the holy spirit is manifested in the life of a believer is not prayer is not fasting is communion prayer is a subset of fellowship are we together now hmm. fellowship So what is the first ministry of the Holy Spirit in the life of a believer? Let's hurry up. Number one, write it down, please. The first assignment of the Holy Spirit in the life of a believer is activation of his spiritual senses. Activation of his spiritual senses. A believer is one who has already received the life of God. When the Holy Spirit comes into the life of a believer his first assignment is activation 
of your spiritual senses the bible calls it being alive to christ first corinthians chapter 2 verse 14 please first corinthians chapter 2 verse 14 very popular scripture the bible says read please everyone is projected one to read but the natural man received not the things of the spirit of god why for they are what foolishness unto him neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned let me explain to you what that means the natural man not just a carnal man the natural man one who is alienated from anything christ among other things responds to his environment only based on his sensory perception are we together so his decisions are made from the impulses around him the limit of his interaction is just a three-dimensional realm the natural man the bible says for such a person his organs of interaction with spiritual realities are deadened he cannot understand spiritual things because they are not scientific spiritual things are not scientific spiritual things are not philosophical they are spiritual so your organs of interaction with the realm of the spirit must be heightened and activated for it to make sense it does not make sense to drop a prayer request on the ground and dance around it a natural man will tell you that stupidity it does not make sense to write your problems on a prayer request and come and drop it at the altar have a man lay hands and get up smiling it does not make sense to believe something you have not seen and start taking action in advance no the natural man cannot do that in the world they say seeing is believing if i can't see it i shouldn't believe it how in the world do you want somebody whose organs of interaction with the realm of the spirit has not been heightened to believe that someone can stand with a growth a lump a malignant growth cancerous growth and just with a word it disappears no see let me tell you something most people's doubting of god is because the holy spirit has not activated their organs of interaction remember when you used to laugh at praying praying in tongues remember that's what was happening to you you see believers praying and sweating and you say Ay, who lied to these people see you now you are in the same thing happily a forerunner of it how about the bible how about confession to believe that you can communicate things thank you that you can communicate things and then they will come to pass because you opened your mouth and spoke ah, ah. you just sit down in your house and expect a destiny helper to help you who dash monkey banana where will that come from you mean somebody just sits down and comes to bless you all of these things that we teach brothers and sisters are spiritually discerned say after me spiritually discerned why will you ever believe that a man went to the cross for you what if it's a lie was your name on the cross you were not there you were told he went to the cross for you how are you sure it was for you what if he went because he did something wrong and they just created a story to cover up let me tell you how you know the organs your spiritual senses have been activated the things of the spirit no longer become an embarrassment to you you are not ashamed of it some of us still do big manism for spiritual things shout lift your hands and don't fall our hands that's someone whose spiritual senses are deadened does not understand you are sick to take the communion what is communion i beg i saw you baking this cake i saw you you even put small wine inside and you are now all of a sudden telling me it's anointed and it can cure please the less less we are and I'm, I'm i'm sorry to say this but even some of us pastors we stand on stage and we bastardize spiritual things we tell people look you you have common sense i mean what is uh, how can you walk around your house in the night prophesying get a police and we laugh over it and make it look as if spiritual things are nonsense If you are not a spiritual man you can't believe 
that somebody can come with a result that is not working and you lay hands on it and he goes back and check and all of a sudden he finds out it has changed his own cynical people are those who their organs of interaction with the realm of the spirit you saw our mother giving a testimony there are some of you here if journalists will come now you say mama open that leg let's see i don't believe the seeing is believing because many of us believe that an elderly woman at her age like this would come to stand to lie to you cynical about everything i'm showing you the need for the holy spirit in your life this is why you cannot experience speed when they see a young man all of a sudden come you see this gentleman he was he grew up in the village just like you and in one year god has changed his life and changed his level when people see him they say look all these young people it took me 20 years to buy my first car because you are a natural man but this guy has tapped into a supply he knows there is a system in the kingdom are we together now and you look at him and say no job you graduated with third class what are you doing whose head did you cut that you are now buying a car you are even saying you buy a car for your mother how did that happen the natural man cannot receive the things of the spirit how can tithing open the heavens for you this thing is just a gimmick oh men of god use this thing they, they eat people's money and you share the next time you can know whether people are alive in the spirit by their conversations their conversations are a window to their spirit man so never argue when you want to argue with people find out what level they are first so you don't make a fool of yourself there are people when they talk the key is just to say all right god bless you it's all right you know i'm telling you all these things you are sitting down saying you are hearing god to marry well I'm, this one now you are seeing we're all seeing this is how your elder sister did now she's 40 years you don't know what the elder sister believed but you know the principles of the word are you hearing what i'm saying is god blessing you yes spiritual man god gives you an instruction you finish building a house and you carry the house and go and give the house of God and say they should turn it into a missionary house is that normal no you have to be spiritual are there spiritual people in this place so why do you argue about miracles why do you argue about signs and wonders why do you argue about dreams I call this guy now I give him a word of knowledge and somebody is watching me I'm watching if somebody is telling me something <laughs> is it very easy to act like that say I'm a believer say I am spiritual I am alive to God say it I am alive to God yes the natural man I'm showing you the number one assignment of the Holy Spirit to take us out of that natural state and that carnal state to become spiritually alive all of a sudden you now know that prayer has power all of a sudden you now know that the Word of God can direct the course of a man's life all of a sudden you now agree that if I honor my parents my day will be long all of a sudden you now know that it is possible for someone to insult you yet in spite of the insult you can still say god bless you natural people who fight and tear themselves but a spiritual man hallelujah it's a spiritual man that will see his car burning to ashes and while the car is burning he will go and lock the door and just be dancing and they say oh god i think you can't you at least quench it and sell the tire and he said it doesn't make any difference it's just my car is limited but i'm connected to a supply that is infinite i'm not irresponsible i'm only showing the extent of the abundance of the kingdom i represent spiritual man let me tell you how to know you are a spiritual man jesus gave us a test your environment will fight you because they are not used to behaving like that where will the money come from i'm tithing i'm giving god will give me an idea are you are you aware that we are in may and you are saying by december the house will be built please don't be stupid spiritual people if you are here and you find yourself cynical towards spiritual things you are always doubting can god do this 
is a sign that you need to cry for your spiritual senses to be activated I remember some years ago someone told me that he doesn't really believe in miracles that he believes that every healing miracle is fake because they have not been able to bring any concrete documentation I told him I said there's no point arguing and I've had the same thing with several preachers around I told him the day the doctors look at you and say sir you have three days to live that day you will believe in miracle for sure you know this one way God helps us to believe him he just steps back and allows us to struggle with what we think can be him in our lives when you see how incapacitated you are outside of the spirit it will make you to embrace him thank you activation of your spiritual senses number two the second ministry of the Holy Spirit to a believer this is very important is revelation and understanding of scripture the second ministry listen listen scripture does not help you know the holy spirit the holy spirit helps you understand scripture are we together i am a word addict but i'm going to be correcting many things shortly and i pray that you have the grace and the fortitude to receive it because the way many people are taking their path their journey to spiritual progress they are not going to make progress that way revelation and the understanding of scripture the holy spirit himself is called the spirit of revelation the spirit of understanding when you read isaiah 11 right he is called that in fact paul prayed in ephesians chapter 1 from verse 17 for this cause i paul bow my knees to the father of our lord jesus christ that he may grant unto you the spirit give it to us please Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 17 let's see the prayer of Paul that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of glory will give unto you the spirit of what wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him it's a spirit it's not just a desire there is a dimension of the Holy Spirit that helps men to both have revelation and understanding of Scripture let me tell you something if the holy spirit look up please lord jesus help me how do i say this now it is the holy spirit that inspired the writing of this remember the last session we discussed that the holy spirit is the author of the bible the bible did not bring the holy spirit the holy spirit authored the bible all scripture right was inspired of the holy ghost holy men wrote as they were moved led by the spirit i hope you know that the apostles never had the privilege to hold this document i hope you know the early church did not go to church with something in their hand called bibles do you know that when they went around they did not hold a little book with 66 books it was their testimony the testimony of the ministry of the holy spirit in their lives that have been documented to help a generation understand the character of God the purpose of scripture is very clear he said ye are not knowing the scripture these scriptures testify of me they don't give you power in themselves the scriptures are a pointer the end of scripture is an encounter with a person a person the spirit of revelation Jesus himself told us that when the Holy Spirit came he would grant us access to the understanding of Scripture say understanding of Scripture there are several people let me tell you something look up please it is dangerous to study this book or any Christian material without the Holy Spirit because you are going to gain an understanding from it but it may not be the understanding that God intends and the terrible thing this is why for many of you who have studied the Bible and studied you know church history you will know that the translation of the Bible was done well but it came with many mistakes um, because many of those who translated the Bible did so sadly from Hebrew Latin Greek Aramaic 
into English. They did not really consult the ministry of the Holy Spirit seriously. Many of them just consulted archaeological and theological materials. And there are some of the modern translations of the Bible we have now are very disturbing. Very disturbing. They are a communication of carnality. Men attempting to interpret spiritual things in the flesh. And so you have all kinds of Bibles. They remove several things in the Bible that they, fe they feel are an interruption to civilization. They carefully extract certain verses from the Bible. They add certain things that were not there. Revelation of Scripture. Revelation of Scripture. Revelation of Scripture. I will come back to that but it's sufficient for you to know that if you ever want revelation the key is to embrace the ministry of the Holy Spirit when you study scripture with his ministry activated in your life then you will have understanding then you will have revelation number three the third ministry of the Holy Spirit to the believer this is important let me spend a few minutes here guidance and direction this is one of his major ministries to the believer guidance and direction john 16 verse 13 john 16 verse 13 please give it to us and then isaiah 30 21 john 16 verse 13 guidance and direction everyone say guidance say it again guidance and direction how be it when he not when it when he the spirit of truth is come what will he do he will guide you into how many truth all truth i know many of us don't believe this let me tell you what it means to guide can i use anybody i've been using your care to direct is to say move when you get there turn left that's direction so you go on your own all i give you for direction is an information and then you go but this is what guidance is hold my hands let's walk together oh be careful jump this be careful move this way this is guidance the bible says the spirit of truth can guide a young man who is confused no father no mother where do i go oh lord and the spirit of god says hold my hands and watch what i will do i will guide you i will guide you okay you will be in zaria for two years guidance after that you plan to go to london no it's not london it's aquaibo for one year oh god what am i doing there just follow me guidance many people pastors leaders have have ignored the guidance ministry of the holy spirit attempting to get direction directly from the bible without him is hypocrisy and religion do you know why look at me look at me there is nowhere in the bible here that is written apostle joshua selman by 2011 and 17 you should be in zaria it's not written here the principles of the kingdom i will come there are written but there are times your life requires hands-on customized specific information this is where he comes in you see that the spirit of truth he shall guide you into how many all truth what is all truth does it include ministry does it include your finances please help me does it include your establishment why did you leave him in church and you are around trying to look for jobs all by yourself and you never intro you go to submit proposals alone and then we don't pay attention to his ministry i think what is in vogue now is once you are in lagos or abuja about your life will be better and you transport yourself and transport your ignorance to lagos and you're on your own and a city that should bless you punishes you because he's not there with you someone else can be in zamfara led by him what are you doing in zamfara he asked me to come there and he's living like a hero in zamfara please hear me when it comes to guidance you must submit to the leadership of the holy spirit let me show you something isaiah 30 21 
Isaiah 30 21 read it if you're a Christian one to read and thy ears shall hear a word behind thee saying uh-huh this is the way walk ye in it when ye turn to the when you turn to the this is the way walk ye in it uh-uh if you go about it this way it won't work this is it oh i just want to go and do business uh -uh. go and get a master's lord what do i need it for just do it i am directing you uh -uh. he leads me and guides me to the city of Baba. he leads me and guides me to my place of destiny he leads me and guides me to the city up above he leads me and guides me to my place of destiny prophesy he leads me and guides me to the city up above he leads me and guides me to my place of destiny listen samuel had the voice of god because he was lying down close to the ark you don't hear his voice if he's far from you he's a gentle spirit the secret to hearing his voice is to walk with him don't keep him far there and say lord where are you no so close i believe you're holding me now you'll never let me go so close i believe you're holding me now Many fathers did not seek the consent of God. They just got pension, two million. Just travel to the village. You travel to the village, the second day your legs stopped working. The third day you started working, halfway the building, the money disappeared. Did he lead you? You must learn to take responsibility. Allow his voice guide you. See, let me tell you something. God is not always speaking i know we say god always speaks i don't have a right to question anyone saying that but i've read my bible and i've walked with the holy spirit god does not always speak he speaks read your bible in the fifth day of the tenth month the word of the lord came the word of the lord came like a messenger god sends his word before his senses is with him when he sends it it comes your job is to wait no matter how long waiting is cheaper than paying a price unnecessary god is speaking to someone here because your your head can move you as the voice of god waiting the hardest things for believers lord you said this year you will prosper me what is this you've not even given me an idea a business idea and god says just be praying just be waiting oh god by now my colleagues have started ministry and all of them even have five five hundred members huh i look at all of them and it's as if you didn't call me i got them born again and god says just wait if you don't hear his voice die there waiting for him are you hearing what i'm saying i'm giving someone a powerful powerful revelation man of god if he does not speak don't start this tv ministry don't say because you have money not every door that is opened is opened by god you shall hear a voice satan can open doors your force can open doors when you force a door it will open There are too many inconsistencies in the life of believers and the reason is because of that stillness stillness the 
Holy Spirit does not speak to men under an atmosphere of noise 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 Lord there are 12 men around my life tell me quickly which one truly you won't hear anything the Holy Spirit is a master of solitude silence silence oh God five jobs speak quickly before I choose my own you won't hear that kind of thing no. waiting is a sign of faith waiting is proof you believe he will come he will come and save you he will come and save you say to the weary heart your god will surely come who am i singing to save you my god will come and save you he will come and save Say to the weary heart, your God will surely come. He will come and save. He will come and save. He will come and save. Here's your part now. Lift up your eyes to Him, for you will arise again. He will come and save. Listen, lift up your eyes to Him, you will arise again. He will come and save. Apostle, I was never taught that God can direct people. Look at how 10 years of my life has become a mess. I married wrongly. I did all kinds of things. I entered into every wrong known business. I did every kind of thing. Wrong friends. Look at my life. Lift up your eyes to him. For he will, you will arise again. And he must come to save. No regrets. Is there hope for a tree? Yes, there is. Even though it be cut up, if you can lift up your eyes. I just feel in my spirit, God is speaking to someone here. You are saying, Can this thing ever work? My God, my God, an expert in changing the lives of men. Have you not heard of Abraham? I lift up my eyes to you. So I will rise again. You will come and say, Can my church get back again? Yes. You joined all kinds of friends in the name of ministry, preaching all around, and before you knew it, that grace left. But like Samson, like Samson, you will arise again. Okay. You will arise again. For he will come and save you. I speak to your weary heart. Your God will surely come. How long? His time. His time. How long, Apostle? We've been building for 10 years. Our neighbors are finished. Leave your neighbors. He's preparing a table for you. Lift up your eyes to him. And you will arise again. He will come and say. Psalm 23. Please let's hurry up. Our time is gone. Goodness. God is blessing and healing people here. Psalm 23. God is encouraging someone. Stop crying. You can't cry forever. There is hope. There is hope. You can start afresh again. I don't care what happened the Lord by his spirit is my shepherd the sheep does not have horns the sheep cannot fight its security is entirely based on his trust for the leadership of the shepherd two he maketh me everybody say he makes me when he becomes my shepherd 
when I make up my mind I'm not a small child yes but I will follow him sometimes we get too matured for his voice oh God you know I'm not I'm not a child again don't play all these games he makes me to lie down where for him to make me lie down means he knows where it is he searches for it and says son this is green your eyes is seem black but God says just lie down this is green pastures Lord but based on what I was taught when I was in the university this is black and God says me lie down when you lie down all of a sudden it turns to green and people say how did you get it uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. every wise man knows the power of the leadership of the spirit you can't fake his leadership your life will be too ugly to pretend he's the one leading you a sign that is not leading you is perpetual absence of beauty and glory in every area of your life he leads me beside the still waters verse 3 quickly help us media he restores my soul all these are things that happen when he's shepherd he can be your Lord you will not benefit from this you can make him your shepherd that if you are leading me Lord I will follow I will follow you need to see how I talk with the Lord and I tell him Lord I'm not going from here brothers and sisters I can tell you how many people have given nice proposals wonderful things for the ministry to do but I know you ask everyone who is close to me if God does not speak I'm not going anywhere if after 30 years God does not speak this is where we remain as a ministry are we together I'm not under pressure to show ministry is growing everything that has happened here is a product of his wisdom the messages that have blessed people around the world it was a simple direction from God do not upload your videos do not sell your audios not at this season put them free online I will cause it to move like an angel to the nations of the earth look what God has done today you see when he speaks to you foolish things can bring powerful results because his voice is upon it he leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake for yeah even though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death how you got there is not important the most important thing is that you are there the valley of the shadow of death what happens i will fear no evil why is it because i already know what will happen no you are with me although i'm in the valley if your voice is still with me then i'm safe thy rod and thy staff they comfort me five thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies because i am close to you i enjoy the fringe benefit of being anointed with oil and then my cup runs over guidance believers please hear me let's return back to the place where the voice of god becomes the timing of our lives don't allow this scientific living fool you young man you are 30 years by now you should have three cars you should have three cars you should be married you should have um uh, what are some of these things again you should be in i mean i mean you you have a masters in etc etc the voice of god will make you look like a fool for a moment but the beauty and glory that will rise from his voice will shock people and they will say how did you do it I remember when we started out in ministry many people thought we were fools many people thought we were idiots but look at his wisdom look at his grace look at the mighty things that he has done you are here today as a product of his voice who will be in your life because you had well pray one minute Lord correct my hearing I am determined to hear you I am determined to hear you lift your voice and say Lord I no longer argue with your voice 
if you don't speak i'm going nowhere there is a way that cement right inside and outside make sure you are talking to the lord there is a way that cement right for a young man but the end thereof are the ways of death there is a way to make money that seems right there is a way to marry that seems right there is a way to get connection that seems right there is a way to do ministry that seems right but the end thereof will leave you with pains and regrets but when he leads you his voice comes with speed his voice comes with direction his voice comes with direction guidance yes very simple song yes that's my response to your leading yes i'll forever say The fourth ministry of the Holy Spirit in the life of a believer are you learning something tonight the fourth ministry of the Holy Spirit in the life of a believer is renewal and transformation write this I want to teach you something powerful and then we pray renewal and transformation renewal and transformation transformation second corinthians chapter 3 verse 18 but we all second corinthians 3 verse 18 but we all not we some as many who are interested is is the destiny of everyone but we all with open unveiled face beholding as in a glass the glory of god the glory of god is the holy spirit he's called the glory of the father this says we are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of God the Holy Spirit is responsible for the transformation of men what is transformation a change of state that is caused about by a change of beliefs a change of values a change of paradigms listen carefully one of the major ministries of the holy ghost in the life of a man is to cause renewal renewal of your mind romans chapter 12 from verse 1 i beseech you brethren by the mercies of god that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto lord which is your reasonable act of worship verse 2 he says and do not be conformed the word conformed is the word patterned do not be patterned after aeon the the word world there's the greek word aeon the thinking pattern that comes with the age do not allow yourself there is a pathway young people are taking that will land them in failure there is a way people are taking that will cause them to be mediocre in business in ministry whatever it is it says but be what transformed how through renewal transformation the process that makes you become like christ experientially is called transformation transformation the bible challenges us to have the mind of christ challenges us to cultivate the mindset philippians chapter 2 and verse 5 it says let this mind be in you the word let is permit allow authorize this mindset this thinking this ideology this is the reason why the ministry of the word is important now let me tell you something about the word of god while i was preparing the holy spirit 
kept drumming in my spirit to correct this i want to correct something now the confusion that has come and has been in the body of christ for a long time as to where the ministry of what we call the word and the ministry of the spirit because it's, it's, it's a thing of confusion for a lot of people now that i'm talking about the holy spirit in transformation many people are saying i, I think it's just the word of god there is a system and this is what i want to teach you listen there is the word of god as a person understand this are we together john 1 verse 1 in the beginning was the word there is the word of god as a person say the word of god as a person we know him our dispensation knows him as jesus are we together we call him jesus the bible calls him the word of god revelations 19 13 the man upon the white horse riding had a name his name is the word of god give it to us please revelations 19 yeah i believe verse 13 it should be revelations 19 13 let's look at it and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood what was his name is the word of god his name has always been the word of god so there is the word as a person In all you're getting, get wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. Through wisdom is a house built. And by understanding, it is established. Join, Join Apostle Joshua Selman of Eternity Network, Network International as he takes you on a journey into the wisdom of God's Word. It's intimacy. It's partnership. It's fellowship. This is Koinonia. Father, we are gathered tonight as your people. No one has the capacity to bring together people to learn but you. And we thank you for giving us the privilege to learn. May your name and your name alone be praised in the name of Jesus. Let's walk around to two or three people. Just greet them and then be seated. to appreciate everyone thank you so much for your commitment especially for those outside um, it truly is a sacrifice and we honor you as always those online following us from any part of the world we bless you you're part of us the Lord will do you good in Jesus name amen the Holy Spirit part two three weeks ago we started a series on the Holy Spirit and um, we had two weeks off, one with Pastor Jimmy and then the miracle service. So we'll take it off from there. The course curriculum was uh, number one, understanding the person of the Holy Spirit. And then number two, the ministry of the Holy Spirit. And that's what I'll be discussing today. And then number three, the ministry of the Spirit. That will be next week by the grace of God we started I apologize for the sound I'm sure they are working on it we started by discussing and attempting to understand the person of the Holy Spirit if you were not around during the first um, session please try to get the teachings they are free after service but we did the goal of the last teaching was to validate the fact that the Holy Spirit is God, to validate the fact that the Holy Spirit is not just an influence, it's not just a thing, not oil, not candle, but that He is God. And um, maybe I should just reiterate uh, to buttress on all that we established. 
we said that the Holy Spirit possesses the attributes of a person. Now, there are three factors that make anything a person. The concept of personhood or personality. You must possess a will. You must possess emotions. You must possess intellect. So the will, emotion, intellect. Any entity, any object that possesses a will, emotion, intellect, has a personality are we together now and so the bible clearly tells us that the holy spirit has a will meaning he can make decisions because you use your will to make decisions the holy spirit has emotions meaning he can feel he has feelings the holy spirit can be grieved for instance and then number three he has intellect that means he can think so the Holy Spirit is a person. Um, you may want to write a few scriptures. We'll do a lot of um, hopefully scripture reading just to help us. The Bible tells us when you read from the book of Acts 16, 6 to 7, you don't have to turn their media. Just validating that the Holy Spirit has a will. And then 1 Corinthians 12, 11. These are two scriptures. Acts 16, verse 6 to 7. 1 Corinthians 12 verse 11 validates that the Holy Spirit has a will. The Holy Spirit has emotions. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 30. Ephesians 4 and verse 30. The Holy Spirit has intellect. Romans chapter 8 and verse 27. Romans chapter 8 and verse 27. And then 1 Corinthians 2 verse 10 to 11. I need us to be on the same a level playing ground tonight um, because I know that many of us come from different uh, I don't mean to be insulted but different religions some of us and even in Christianity we come from different sects with different perspectives about God and I understand that there are many people who do not accept the Holy Spirit as a person they accept him as an influence they accept him as um, um in fact some believe that he's one of the angelic cadres he's not i have proven it to us and then the bible clearly tells us again that the holy spirit is god amen so let's deal with the ministry of the holy spirit i want you to really pay attention because this tonight's teaching will be examining the need the advantage the benefit and the operation of the holy spirit in our lives now that we have agreed that he's a person sent from god we have to examine why is he such a big deal because let me tell you something there are many believers who think discussing about the holy spirit is inaccurate you know you hear them say look it is jesus we want to know he's the one who died for our sins what is all this idea about the holy spirit is jesus we want to know and um, you know they make it look as though the teaching of the holy spirit is some kind of occultic movement and it is important for us to understand his ministry in our lives john chapter 16 for our text tonight let's look at the book of john chapter 16 jesus is teaching the disciples here and um, in the chapter before he began to introduce them to the personality of the holy spirit and then he went further to let them know the things that he would be doing his ministry let's read from verse 7 john chapter 16 from verse 7 we're reading down um, to 15, 7 to 15, quite a long reading. Ready? Nevertheless, okay, I tell you the truth. It is what? Expedient. The word expedient is advantageous to your own advantage. For you that I go away. For if I go not away, the comforter. Notice all the names that he's used because his names are also a representation of his operation and his ministry. It's in the character of God to name things according to their usage. Um, Hausa people do a lot of that. 
they name people based on what they do so you can you don't need to ask what the person is doing they can name him by his occupation or profession we do that a lot in the north this is where uh, this whole idea came from so when he's called the comforter that introduces a dimension of his ministry the comforter will not come to you but if i depart i will send him to you we're reading down to 15 and when he is come he will reprove the world of sin righteousness and judgment verse 9 of sin because they believe not on me of righteousness because i go to my father and ye see me no more of judgment because the prince of this world is judged i have yet many things to say unto you but ye cannot bear them now now that's that's a very interesting we can stop there and spend all the night please go back to verse 12 it says ye cannot bear them now this is very powerful i'm, I'm coming to that point ye cannot bear them now does not mean they are too heavy for you your organs of interaction with the realm of the spirit the capacity to understand spiritual things has not been activated that means the word you cannot bear them means it will not be profitable to you if i attempt to explain it to you are we together now because the natural man cannot receive the things of the spirit nor can he understand them they are spiritually discerned are we together how be it next verse when he the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into how many truths he will guide you into the word sanctify them by thy truth thy word is truth so he will guide you into all truth for he shall speak he shall not speak of himself but whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak and he will show you things to come he shall glorify me for he shall receive of mine and shall show it to you 15 all things that the father hath are mine therefore said i that he shall take of mine and shall show it to you praise the lord the holy spirit in as much as it is important for us to know he's a person we must be able to know that he was sent by god to accomplish specific things in the earth the Holy Spirit's ministry cuts across creation and humans. He is not limited just to human beings. You have to understand this. The ministry of the Holy Spirit, Miles Munro, Dr. Miles Munro calls him the governor of the earth. How powerful a description. Are we together now? Not the governor of men. The Holy Spirit's ministry. For many of us, even among the charismatics, we have limited the ministry of the holy spirit to just men and so we feel that the holy spirit has no relevance in culture the holy spirit has no relevance to plants and animals the holy spirit has no relevance to creation that's not true when you read genesis chapter one he was the very force his first manifestation was not as a helper of man are we together now it was his presence representing the power of god that brought order and dexterity to creation i want you to know the bible says he upholds things he upholds all things by the word of his power the holy spirit is the mystery that holds creation together you have to realize this he's not just um one force that was sent to men and so if you are not a man you are not relevant no 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 we see the Holy Spirit's ministry finding expression even in animals. Donkeys spoke. That's a manifestation of the power of the Holy Spirit. Rods. Bodded. That's a manifestation of the power of the Holy Spirit. A rod turned to a serpent and back again. Water parted. All of these things. We see his power, the might of the Spirit of God demonstrated all through creation so i want us to know that the relevance of the holy spirit cuts across culture cuts across animate and inanimate things the relevance of the holy spirit cuts across civilization whether the 18th 19th 20th 21st century and whatever it is the relevance of the holy spirit cuts across dispensations dispensations when you realize this 
the holy spirit does not become he no longer becomes an issue of christians please listen the holy spirit is not just on earth for christians the holy spirit is god he is the spirit of god as i'm going to be teaching you the holy spirit has a ministry to creation he has a ministry in our world today cosmos the social system the holy spirit has a ministry to unbelievers the holy spirit has a ministry to believers are we together now so regardless of what category you find yourself you need the person and the ministry of the holy spirit say amen because if we do not understand some of these things we can feel the holy spirit is a nuisance and he's only needed by those who want to heal the sick that's the ideology many people receive so every time we talk about the holy spirit we leave him to pastors and apostles and prophets and all those who want to be part of ministry as we know i'm a businessman i don't need him i'm a politician i don't need him i'm a career person i don't need him that's a fallacy the holy spirit is needed for life and godliness he is the life of god he is the power of god ignoring the holy spirit and any aspect of his ministry will cost you your effectiveness everyone say i need him jesus the model of the church the very son of the living god the firstborn among we the begotten jesus was helpless on the earth the holy spirit was required to get mary pregnant he played the fatherly role of mary the holy spirit was required are we together now in in the the growth and the understanding of jesus as he grew in wisdom statue the holy spirit was responsible for his empowerment the holy spirit was responsible for that invincible and flawless life that jesus lived the holy spirit was responsible for supplying the grace for his passion the holy spirit was responsible for his resurrection the holy spirit was responsible for his ascension responsible for the birthing the holy spirit is the mother that birthed the church we can never ignore his ministry and prosper listen to me please whether you are presbyterian whether you are an atheist whether you are a muslim christian buddhist whatever religion whether you are you are a christian catholic pentecostal charismatic orthodox you know whatever it is i want you to know that the holy spirit please come the holy spirit was not sent as a choice for christians no the holy spirit is god's gift to earth god's gift to humanity regardless whether you are a sinner he has a ministry in your life whether you are born again he has a ministry in your life in business in ministry as we call it fivefold whatever it is we have ignored his ministry in fact in fact many believers do not doubt that there is an existence of such a personality called the holy spirit you will seldom find people argue with you about the existence of such a personality however in fact many have even supposedly received him it's one thing to receive the holy spirit but it's another thing for his ministry to be activated in your life that you have received the holy spirit and you are even praying in tongues does not necessarily mean his ministry has been activated in your life are we together help me with this bottle of water watch this give it to me i have received this water is that true but this water was designed to accomplish specific things in me quench my thirst help me become healthy now if i keep holding this bottle for a long time i am not in doubt that there is such a possibility i know i'm feeling it i hold this bottle so if you talk about the bottle i say wow yes i hold it i'm a possessor of it but i'm not a benefactor of the advantage the possibilities that this bottle could bring i can die of thirst yet i am holding a bottle of purified water that can quench my thirst so don't be caught up with this self-pride and arrogance that i know him 
after all the name of my church is holy spirit uh, maybe assembly or something and you convince yourself that because you mention his name and talk about him so much it means you know him no thank you the advantage that were designed were designed to take advantage of his person and his ministry not his person alone an awareness of you if this guy is a um what do we call it now let's assume that this guy is a very good driver being aware that he's a good driver is wonderful but that does not profit me if this guy now drives me then i am enjoying his ministry brothers and sisters thank you very much many of us seated here and listening to me following online have not maximized the ministry of the holy spirit we have not even allowed him we have not allowed him and i'll be showing you shortly there are specific things the holy spirit was sent to achieve in our lives i won't talk so much about his ministry to creation my focus especially in this series is on men we have been discussing the issue of men we really want to understand the dynamics of triumph and we're examining the ministry of the Holy Spirit with respect to men the Holy Spirit has a twofold assignment please write with respect to his ministry to men he has a twofold assignment the assignment of the Holy Spirit to men is twofold number one his ministry to unbelievers that's the starting point of his encounter with men his ministry to unbelievers unbelievers those who are yet to encounter christ those who are yet to surrender their hearts to his lordship he has a ministry to them and then number two his ministry to believers or the church the ecclesia the holy spirit has a ministry to the body of christ not just to believers to the body because believers are part of that body so he has a ministry to unbelievers and then he has a ministry to believers the church the bride of christ several things the bible tells us that the holy spirit would do in the life of unbelievers let's look at them very quickly john 15 26 to 27 john 15 26 to 27 the bible says when the comforter is come listen jesus is teaching here whom i will send unto you from the father even the spirit of truth which proceeded from the father what will he do he shall what testify testify like a witness to my reality remember we discussed the last time that the holy spirit makes jesus real there is no amount of oratory there is no amount of audiovisual that is capable of making Jesus real to a man. No amount of Jesus film. No amount of, um, what do we call it? Uh, visual drawings that can attempt to paint. It can just capture emotionally. But it, it cannot reveal Jesus. The Holy Spirit is the one who testifies of Jesus. Are we together now? Next verse 27 and ye also sh shall bear witness because ye have ye have been with me from the beginning jesus is saying the holy spirit will bear witness to unbelievers and just like him that will be for next week you will also end up being like him to men witnesses are we together the faithful witness is not a man he's the spirit of god he's called the faithful witness unbending the faithful witness testifying of him when you see people convicted give us john 6 44 when you see jesus come alive to people brothers and sisters listen the reason why it is not difficult for us to believe in jesus huh, is because we were born in a religious environment and so although we had not surrendered completely to him we were in an environment that seemed to appreciate his reality so it was not very difficult to switch are we together but if you were born a buddhist 
an atheist a non-christian or your father was involved in all kinds of um extreme witchcraft you will realize that it takes the power of the holy spirit to make jesus real why will you walk up to me and just tell me i am going to die i'm going to perish i should hand over my life to someone called jesus what is so special about him i'm already rich i'm already healthy i already live in a mansion i already live with all kinds of luxurious things why do i need jesus it's very easy in africa for people to receive jesus because our economy has already tilted us to uh, the point where we need a savior so it's very logical the moment you propose jesus and what he can do it makes a lot of sense to a man who is hungry but you see when you go around the world and meet men in their arrogance who have built empires without him what exactly should make a multi-millionaire what exactly should make a man who is a professor per excellence what exactly should make a man listen to you enough to respond to an altar call it takes the holy spirit it's not just good talk it's not just evangelism look at what he says here no man can come to me except the father and i told you there are two, two dimensions there is the father in heaven abba the source and sustainer residing in the heavens are we together the first person of the godhead then there is the father in me the holy spirit are we together now he says no man can come to me except the father which had sent me draw him and i will raise him up on the last day no man please hear me if you have ever given your life to jesus christ it never happened just by your willpower alone uh -uh. the holy spirit was there it's unfortunate right now we organize crusades without him emotional crusades we share tracts we put jesus film at the end of it people cry you see them crying you think before you make the altar call they should come and lie down while you are making the altar call they are crying and they are still sitting down looking at you that's to tell you that this thing um, is the same thing that would happen to them if they watched an indian film are we together no man can come to me no man has the power to be so convinced just by the eloquence of men no your words are not articulate enough to cause a man who is 50 years in his mind as an atheist has written all kinds of scientific propositions disproving the existence of god and then you claim to speak to him in 20 minutes and have him bend down on his knees no it takes more than just intelligence it takes the power of the holy spirit i am it never ceases to amaze me the sermon of peter have you read acts chapter 2 what a boring sermon what a disjointed sermon i've been teaching our school of ministry homiletics for five years i've been teaching them how to preach and i understand certain things that should be contained in a good message to make sense peter's message had only two of that five you're meeting a lot of people and then telling them some history that doesn't make sense wasting their time and then at the end i thought they would say what a boring man you gathered us here to waste our time the bible says they were cut to the heart that's not the excellency of speech that's the power of god are we together the holy spirit convicts and draws the heart of unbelievers to jesus when you read john 16 from verse 7 it says that when he the spirit of truth is come please give it to us john 16 verse 7 when the spirit of truth is come he says he will reprove the world the world of unbelievers of three things of sin righteousness judgment go to verse um yes thank you verse 8 when he is come he will reprove the world of sin righteousness and judgment listen no man has the power to create conviction in men every man that tries to convict men brings condemnation to men are we together now it is not given to man to bring conviction no you can only partner with him 
it is the holy spirit who can convict a man brothers and sisters men are arrogant the fallen nature designed men that way when a man kneels down to the lordship of christ especially when he's an accomplished man then it was the power of the holy spirit are we together now when i make altar calls i am surprised sometimes i see the people coming out you know that he must have taken god to bring these people out they are even surprised as they are coming out what am i doing here the holy spirit how many pastors how many evangelists do all kinds of theological dissertations and they refuse his ministry they finish preaching and they call and people come out while you are praying the prayer somebody is pinching someone and say the camera is capturing us and they are laughing at the end of it you say amen and then you count the number of people and after 10 years we say we have won 1 million people to christ the convicting power ben Hinn shared something very powerful about the holy spirit that blessed me watch this without the holy spirit miracles will not change people <laughs> the nation of israel saw more miracles than we will see combined in our generation yet yet the bible called them a stiff-necked people when jesus walked on earth john 20 tells us many more miracles did jesus in the presence of his disciples which were not documented in this book so there are many more miracles we only know he walked on water because it was recorded there were many other miracles jesus did but the bible says when he resurrected some doubted how do you doubt a man who is this invincible he died lazarus died he brought lazarus back to life the son of the widow at name brought her back to life the daughter of the centurion brought her back to life made five loaves and two fish to feed five thousand men aside women and children walked on water had a, a harvest of fish without any kind of assistance yet the people doubted him when jesus died they all ran away when he resurrected they did not even believe thomas said no way i will have to see him and put my hand in his hands and his side why the holy spirit was not given to them let me show you the partnership of the spirit he says the lord is my shepherd as a result i shall not want he says he makes me to lie down i can refuse but my own partnership is compliance to lie down in green pastures he restores my soul he guides me he never forces me he guides me guides me the first the first proof that you are walking with the holy spirit is your submission to his leadership the first proof that you are walking with the spirit write it down submission to his leadership where his leadership is not an opinion where his leadership is not a discussion you don't do things the way you want to do there is an influence submission to his leadership and thou shall hear a voice from behind saying this is the way walk he in it you can choose to refuse you can choose to argue look at me the first proof that a man is walking by the spirit is total submission to the leadership of the holy spirit lord if it be possible let this cup pass nevertheless not my will but thy will submission to the leadership of the holy spirit knowing that the holy spirit is god and according to jeremiah 29 11 it says for i know the thoughts that i think towards you say at the lord listen carefully they are thoughts of good or peace and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end that means i can be led of the spirit i do not even know but i believe by faith 
I've taught you something about the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Let me reiterate on it. Watch this. Let me use someone. Come, please. If this guy believes with all his heart that he is being led by the Spirit or led of the Spirit, watch this. If this guy believes that he's led of the Spirit, are we together? And this is where the Holy Spirit wants him to go to. But he takes a step this direction and he's doing it innocently with all sincerity believing he's led of the holy spirit the spirit of god will take the door and put it here to make sure he passes right this is the mysterious thing about working with god perfection is not a requirement sincerity is the sincerity of your heart <laughs> So it's, it's, not, it's not the issue of perfection of hearing God. Perfection, oh God, no, 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 no. You will make so many mistakes trying to discern his voice. But regardless of it, his integrity is committed to making sure you get to the place of destiny. This is our consolation. There are many times Paul wrote certain things and said, I speak as a man. This is my opinion. It's not that the Holy Ghost gave me any understanding. This is my opinion yet all together the bible says all scriptures were inspired how many including what paul was saying an opinion of a man he leads me and guides me to the city up above he leads me and guides me to my place of destiny he leads me and guides me to the city of above he leads me and guides me to my place of destiny one more time he leads me and guides me to the city of above he leads me and guides me to my place of destiny listen every time god speaks to you about your destiny he speaks to you as if he's talking to himself it will be so big god will tell you white men will come you are going to take over europe and you are watching little you and you are saying god don't mock me don't mock me how shall these things be mary said seeing that i know not a man and the angel said you have asked a good question it will not happen just because you have a womb the power of the highest there is a provision I'm just giving you the information so that you will align but it won't be only you I will call you into a healing ministry oh Lord I have never healed a headache don't worry your job is to believe for when he comes then you will see wonders wonders listen this is what God told me many years ago yes to walk with him the Holy Spirit was introduced to me in a very strange way I've shared a few of those, those, those stories with you people. I wish I had time. I would have shared with you my encounters with the Holy Spirit. Just a little, naive, young, innocent boy moving around. And the Holy Spirit came like a guy who is looking for a wife. Ah, he comes to propose to you. Joshua Selman, can you walk with me and I turn you into a wonder? and all your own belief says uh -uh. based on what the newspaper and the history books told us you have to do a b c d there must be an uncle in civil defense an auntie in cbn then when you add that equation is equal to success and this stranger comes to you that you have never met and he says walk with me like a gentleman will come and hold the lady's hands and say i want to marry you it's a risk is that true and he says just believe me i don't look like it now but there are all kinds of potentials and that lady takes a risk and they begin the journey the journey of destiny 10 years later she is the wife of the person with the largest company in the whole world and you admire her no admire her risk admire the sacrifice admire that step of faith that even when she did not understand many people see what god has done in our lives today and they say apostle you are lucky no i'm not lucky no i'm not lucky no i'm not lucky 
it's better to even say i'm a benefactor of god's grace not luck where were you in the night when he came to me and said son trust me when he was speaking to me you were not there the same way god is telling some of us you may have come from a village you are the last born you can't speak english but just trust me and let me make a wonder out of you and many of us are saying oh god it can't work that way partnership when the holy spirit comes into your life he doesn't ask you your age he doesn't ask you your gender he doesn't ask you your education he doesn't ask you how many hours of prayer he doesn't ask you what revelation you know because all of those things are seeds they will still die no matter what the accomplishment is when a seed is big or small it will still die when he comes he says look i want you to trust me and let's work together then he will begin to guide you he will destabilize your life into nonsense because your plans your dreams your hopes everything scatters you think you are confused but he's leading you all of a sudden brothers and sisters one more step and you are into a life of beauty and glory oh lord my plan was to marry that lady my plan was to marry that guy why have you been stopping every brother coming and god says just keep walking with me when we arrive there you will look back and all the glory will be to him There are businessmen who have held his hands naive ignorant people they know nothing about business nothing about finances come they came from families that no destiny no future full of all kinds of causes and in their frustration he came to them and he said can you trust me and he said lord i don't have much oh. he says no problem i'm not asking you for much just give me your hands give me your hands <laughs> ah, and you will hold you step by step i remember when we were about to start koinonia where would you get a big venue i saw these days in the vision and i said lord there's no auditorium i know that can take people and i was praying and there he came koinonia is not your ministry koinonia is my ministry so let me guide you you are only the physical representation that they can see like a manager of a company but i am the owner let me guide you and i saw in a vision cgc how would i get the venue the venue was small but if he's leading you he will shake men he will raise donkeys he will make stones speak when he's leading you he will move all kinds of things the leadership many of us have been cheated in life because we have allowed over dependence on intellectualism to cheat us we have robbed ourselves of the simplicity and the foolishness of following him are we together yes brothers and sisters listen this battle is not your own if you leave it to the right fighter you will win you have been fighting a battle you have not this you are not I, I don't know i'm prophesying to somebody this battle is not your own it will kill you on your own it will kill you it will kill you that's the song the battle isn't yours but mine the battle isn't yours but mine god is speaking battle isn't yours but mine the battle is in yours oh god i am 25 years i am 27 years how will i ever be established in this life no uncle to help me that's nonsense that battle is not your own you were not designed to be established by yourself there is something that establishes men listen believe me when i tell you i live a fearless life I don't live i don't live a fearless life just because i am a macho man i don't live a fearless life just because there's 10 naira in my pocket i live a fear the day i discovered that i am never alone in the equation i found rest they got it very well find rest find rest look at this little boy pastor alpha's son he knows i have a responsibility to breathe and live this man has a responsibility to feed me 
for as long as I remain his son many of us have become God to ourselves that's why we are being punished day and night many pastors are almost dying how do I raise money for church as if you are the one who sent yourself how do I gather members one pastor is about to leave me pastor why do you want to leave me all that is nonsense when you realize that you are not alone say I'm not alone prophesy it say I'm not alone yes and the Lord walking with them and the Lord writing exams with them and the Lord walking with them and the Lord building that house with them and the Lord doing that business with him and the Lord working on that job someone looks at you and says you'll be a failure in life you are going to fail I will make sure I frustrate you he's talking to two people he should know who the second person is frustrate who now because we are inseparable who are you going to frustrate me or the fountain of wisdom so when you see people run oh somebody said he will kill me in the village somebody said i will never marry over her dead body all of that is nonsense it is your faith they are working on and you believe it and receive it and your life begins to there are many of us constantly requiring um endorsement by people because we do not know that the spirit of the lord makes everybody a first class personality there are no second class people with god submission to the leadership of the holy spirit let me tell you one big secret in my life i never do anything until i hear god did you hear what i just told you if God does not speak I will not carry this speaker and leave it there now the problem with many of us is we have been indoctrinated that God is always speaking I respect those opinions but based on the word of God and my experience God does not always speak he speaks but he's not like a robot talking in the fifth day of the tenth month of the tenth year the word of the Lord came 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 the patience of knowing that when his voice comes what you call wasted time is rubbish when his voice comes it will bring you speed oh God my colleagues have gone and left me I've been a graduate for 10 years what are you doing with my life most of them have even built houses let his word come when the Holy Spirit comes and says son it's time you will not walk you will fly oh no 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 he does not give you progress he lifts you Me, see this is why you see some people quiet and then all of a sudden in certain seasons they just explode and you look at them and you're like ah where did this guy come out from nobody comes out of nowhere it's a lie you just were not there during their times of dealings with the spirit if we launch a television station now all over the world for the next six months they'll say there is a channel koinonia tv my god come and see what is happening as though it just started no sir nobody just starts in on stage there is a track record of walking with the holy spirit that's why you see i acknowledge him so much so much when you see me talk about the holy spirit it can annoy you i'm not copying benny hill no it's a revelation take away the holy spirit from my life you will be so embarrassed by what is left it will not be worth it take away the holy spirit from my life i'm not worth your attention take away the holy spirit from my life i'm not worth your confidence but with him <sighs> now you be god Almighty God, for you know be my name. You know be my name. One more time. Now you be God, Almighty God. You know be my name. You know be my name. Listen. Do you know the meaning of what you just said? 
you don't use human strategies you are not a man when he comes to hold your hands he's not going to do the y the x he's not that dull he's called the spirit of god my ways are not your ways neither my thoughts your thoughts for as far as the heaven is when god comes you expect him to move you this way and god says let's start going back and he said lord the destination is there he says i know just go back ah, ah. do you go back to go forward you are just leading and you turn and you find out you are there he listen he does not know the way he is the way it's not like he he just leads you he is the way he said i am the way have you learned to trust him show me what role he played in the decisions that you made show me what roles he's playing now show me the role of the holy spirit in your financial decisions show me the role of the holy spirit in your relationships marital decision show me the role of the holy spirit in your ministry show me the role of the holy spirit in your academics ask your parents that's the secret behind the failure of many of our parents we cannot see how he led them pride and arrogance i went to school i've done this i've done that and life whips them left right and center and then you find a dear poor woman in the village oh lord i may not be educated i don't have much i can't preach but lord i just have a little boy if you can use me if you can use him and god says these are the kind of people i want 10 years later at age 10 or 11 that boy is already doing wonders and the woman is there 20 years 30 years down the line he's already celebrated all around the world because an innocent woman listen there is nothing in my work with god the i know how to touch the heart of god let me tell you surrender that is the is the best language of god in his dealings with men surrender lord i can't do it lord it is not in my power i acknowledge you that's music to his ears i show you a secret to walking with the spirit surrender surrender lord i'm brilliant let me start when i hook somewhere i will employ you like a consultant and he watches you some of us have learned to die in his arms when you see me worshiping god i worship him like a fool i will roll from end to end lord what am i without you spirit of the living god you are the mysterious wisdom behind what i do when i was i was uh, i think it was yesterday night into this morning i was just lying down and i said lord imagine the mighty things you're going to be doing today healing people blessing people imagine the thousands of people you are going to be gathering today and the lord told me something as long as you keep walking with me you will see my life in your life my life in your life that's what god told me this morning for as long as you walk with me you will see my life not my hand you see a man living you know that this is another life this is another result that's why we keep going from glory to glory that's why we keep going from dimension to dimension that's why we never give credit to the flesh never give credit to the flesh now the truth is men will clap for you men will say wow you are this you are that sometimes the holy spirit will allow you don't stop them let them pat your back but a wise person will go back and kneel down and say spirit of the living god look what you've done with my life this is the way you father me i love the way you father me this is the way you father me i love the way you father me this is the way you father me i love the way you father me this is the way you father me i love the way you father me listen i show you a fail proof secret respect his voice respect his leadership 
whether it is comfortable to you or not I just believe that the end is peace your mind is too small to understand the ways of God I respect him I've lost the ability to tell God no if it is the voice of God and is the direction of God so be it ancient kings never went for war until they inquired haven't prepared the army they will either use divination or prophets or priests let us know God's opinion and God will say go I have given you victory the moment he spoke there was no fear again Moses was confronted with several challenges notice how Moses will always retreat back to God all right nation of Israel there is a Red Sea standing before us I know what many of us would have done look um, I'm an intelligent man just just allow me uh, let me process this now Moses said all of you calm down are you calm they said okay he ran to God and said God what do I do what do I do partnership what do I do partnership remember I said if your presence will not go with me I can't go I don't want any embarrassment and he said look Moses don't be afraid stretch your rod tell the people to move forward Moses I said God please can you just do something can you compress a cloud to become like a road let's use that strategy how can you tell a man to go and part water it's because it has happened that's why you believe it and all of a sudden Moses went and nation of Israel let's start moving and they looked at him they said you see this idiot is back from wherever he went to he's back as stupid as always he said we should die instead of him to just say I don't have a solution he's now saying God said but there was the invisible part they didn't know the moment he stretched forth his rod signs and the Lord walking with Moses confirming the word with signs how about Joshua went round Jericho and they saw it what is the strategy of God how do we defeat a city whose fence can sit five chariots the whole of CGC from here to here was still not the fence of Jericho so even if the fence turn around it will still be another fence it sank and God said let me give you the strategy walk around once every once for seven days the seventh day move around seven times and he went foolish enough and said guys I've gotten the strategy they went around I can imagine a nation of Israel listen even if you are afraid still obey while you are complaining be obeying Lord I don't think I understand but let your legs keep taking you to the place of obedience faith is not fearlessness faith is the resilience to obey him to the latter regardless of what you feel the ministry of the spirit submission to the leadership of the Holy Spirit number two the second dimension of the ministry of the Holy Spirit is walking in the might the power and the grace of the spirit walking in the might the power the grace of the spirit where it is not your strength again I can do all things Philippians 4 13 through Christ which strengtheneth me the word Christ yes not just the person alone he's anointing the ministry of the spirit is a ministry where a man has been overshadowed by the power of the Holy Spirit where you begin to walk by another agency you are the one carrying out the physical activities but the energy the might the power the wisdom the strategy is not yours watch this if I lift this keyboard or I lift this on one hand it's understandable you look at me and feel I should have power enough as an adult to lift that is that true but when I gather these four people no don't I, I, you think I'm going to do that when I gather these four people and I hold them and you see me lift them you are going to say I have jazz 
you will attribute it to an advantage that is tied to the realm of the spirit because human beings should not do that when you see a man use his teeth to drag a car please be wise there are two people dragging that car when you see someone in the market square putting his head inside a hyena's mouth and he doesn't enjoy him you see people do it in the market or someone shoot an arrow or cut themselves with knife there are two people there are always two people a human and a spirit when you see an old woman say you must die there are two people talking the old woman who is the medium and the spirit speaking when you ever become alone on earth you will die it's always a ministry of two you and the spirit of god and his power and his grace if you are not conscious of that oneness and you just drag yourself i want to go and pray for the sick how many people have died of sickness because they thought it's just because the bible said it the bible said it they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall be healed god's word said it i believe it it settles it and you go and die because of ignorance you just go and lay hands on somebody and all of a sudden carry what is upon that person and produce casualty in your life there is the dynamics of the operation of the word it starts with the holy spirit it is his power that produces the results when you speak do you speak alone or are you just an echo of the real person speaking john said i am the voice of one crying i'm not the word but i am the voice i allow that word to find expression brothers and sisters this is the secret of this ministry you see operating under open heavens the power of the spirit the might of the spirit john chapter 3 verse 1 nicodemus comes to jesus by night and then he says rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from god for no man here it is no man can do these things except god be with him except God be with him no man can become fulfilled in one year except God be with him no man can defy all of these things except God be with him your results are ordinary although you look like you are filled with the Holy Spirit although you are praying in tongues but you have not come into the eternal consciousness of your oneness with him two people becoming one here's a statement that is made during marriage and it was god himself that made that statement therefore what god has joined let no man put that means only god can put us under what god has joined who joined you and the holy spirit please help me so the principle is still applicable what god has joined that partnership with the holy spirit no man should be able to put asunder no charm should be able to put asunder no limitation should be able to put asunder because he was joined by god it's not an opinion of man your background notwithstanding when he supplies you power when he supplies you grace you activate possibilities in your life that cannot be done by a normal human being when he does something to your brain you will now see that four points five points is not something you should sit down and dream about it is a possibility that can happen when he anoints your hands then you now know that your hands may look ordinary but you can shake somebody and change his life forever when he anoints your words then you will know that speaking is not just about grammar there is a life that flows through it and produces results i know the smartest communicators around and they are unable to do much for the kingdom it takes more than speaking good english to drag people it takes an ability is working in me is working in me it's god's ability 
is God's ability is working in me is working in me no matter how frail I look God's ability it's God's ability it's working in me it's working in me God's ability is God's ability is working in me. That's what the ability of God can do. Is the ability of God that has put us in over 45 nations of the world, not being there, never been on TV, is an ability of the spirit. Is the ability of the spirit that has brought his breath upon our teachings that are changing people around the world is the ability of the spirit the miracles and the signs and the wonders the ability the crowds that you see gathered here there is no man walk around this city you are not going to see one coin on your poster the one billboard that was put was taken away it's making it's made no difference because you see brothers and sisters there is a force it's called an akazo. It's a compelling power. The power of the spirit that compels men into the will of God. That's the ability that will come upon you and drag destiny helpers to your life as if you are charming them. Yes. Yes. This is what God has done. Over 80% of the people who bless this ministry, I don't know them. I have never seen them with my eyes. I don't know how they got the ministry account details. Over 50% of, what am I saying 50% of the people that bless me, I don't know them. I've never seen them. I don't know how they got my details. It's God's ability. When his power is upon your life, he will shock you. Shock you. They may see ordinary you. Ordinary you. But then there is an ability of the spirit he said there is this treasure listen carefully in earthen vessels that the excellency of power might be of God the ability of the spirit working in us Acts chapter 19 please quickly I want us to find somewhere and begin to pray now Acts chapter 19 we are reading 11 down to 20 but we'll jump some verses Acts chapter 19 let's see what happened to a man when the power of the Holy Spirit was upon him it says and God who wrote the miracles please help me who wrote the miracles but who did the sick people see the sick people saw who Paul but who was doing the miracles in Koinonia who is doing the miracles but the one you can see is Joshua Selman so you say wow this guy is powerful you are not wrong except for the fact that when you come to me i will redefine it and tell you it's true joshua selman is powerful but in christ and god wrought special miracles through the hands of paul so that from his body were brought onto the sick handkerchiefs and aprons and the disease departed from them and the evil spirits went out of them are we together then talks about the sons of skiva and what happened to them let's go to verse 16 it says and the man in whom the evil spirit was leapt on them and overcame them and prevailed over them do you know why because they thought it was just about talking be healed be healed when you see a man ministering by the spirit it looks so easy you can think it's so easy till you try it that's what these guys did no partnership with the holy spirit and they wanted god's result and the demoniac pounced on them 17 we're reading down to 20 and this was known to all the jews and greeks also dwelling in ephesus and fear fell on them all and the name of the lord jesus was magnified and many that believed came look at this look at what the power of the holy spirit was doing and confessed and showed their deeds 19 and many of them which use curious acts mantras and scientific books books that they use with divination those things became obsolete brought their books together and burned them before all men and they counted the price of them and found it 50,000 pieces of silver brothers and sisters 50,000 anything is money are we together mm. 
20 so mightily grew the word and prevailed so mightily grew how by the results that were communicated it takes power to produce the result that dumbfound men listen you can criticize but you cannot withdraw power no you can't withdraw it from carriers of it this thing comes upon you and it's upon you and it remains for as long as you keep working with god it will only keep multiplying i wish i had time i would have shared with you i've not even touched so much of the things that i want to share but um we'll find somewhere to stop tonight no notable achievement in life is ever done by a man alone it is always done by a man and a spirit either a demonic spirit or the spirit of the living god there is no man in his ability please hear me brothers and sisters no matter how sophisticated you are there is a limit to your ability so he empowers you and i'll tell you why he empowers you acts chapter 1 verse 8 acts chapter 1 verse 8 when you begin to read from verse 5 jesus was talking to them and then they told him they said will you at this time restore the nation of israel and he said it is not for you to know the times and the seasons that the father has put in his care then verse 8 says but ye shall receive power after that the holy ghost is come upon you and ye shall be what one more time one more time a witness is one who validates the claims of another are we together a witness is one who proves that the person testifying is not lying there are many things that god has said in his word and satan is saying is a lie so he empowers you to be a witness so they see a young man a young woman grace upon your life he has said i will restore the years that the canker worm has eaten the palmer worm has eaten and satan says it's a lie it can't happen so god says let me use somebody as a specimen he finds someone that is 10 years backward and then he tells creation watch me now and in five months he turns that person to a wonder you know how you prove a mathematical equation and you write qed not open to debate anymore i've proven it i've said it and i've done it that's what god is about to do with someone's life there are many statements that god has said but satan is saying it's a lie watch what happens to you when his power comes upon your life listen the power of the spirit does not throw people down the throwing people down is just the impact of his presence the power of the spirit lifts people to unimaginable realms unimaginable dimensions unimaginable dimensions let's look at two scriptures i saw a scripture that really 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 blessed me and i thought that we'll just look at it second second corinthians chapter 6 and verse 1 it says we then as what workers together with him like you are talking to a workforce there are times that we have the workforce meeting here in the ministry and it's just exclusive for workers so god is talking here he said we then as workers together with him say i'm a worker together with him say it again i'm a worker together with him when you are a worker with him then you will produce extraordinary results you will produce unusual results this thing i'm teaching you has no respect for gender some of you are sitting looking at me and saying can god do anything with me ah. the god of heaven that i know can turn your life around in ways that you will not imagine read from genesis to revelation he met ordinary people turn them around ordinary people turn them around ordinary jesus turned him around ordinary peter turned him around stammer moses turned him around young fearful joshua turned him around weak feminist deborah 
turn her into a warrior he will not suffer my foods to be moved i carry your presence everywhere who am i your mind is so full of me Awesome God, I'm just a mortal and you are the awesome God, mortal awesome man. I'm just a mortal man, awesome God. In a few minutes now, we are going to begin to pray and you will watch him once again in action, doing wonders, changing lives in split seconds disease is dissolving watch this in split seconds deliverance is happening in split seconds impartations happening brothers and sisters a man cannot bless you like that oh learn this no but he will not suffer my food to me for i carry his presence everywhere who am I? Your mind is so full of me. Mortal man, awesome. I'm just a mortal man. You are the awesome. I'm just a mortal man, awesome. Listen, say in the name of Jesus, from today, I walk in the consciousness of the leadership of the Holy Spirit I submit to the leadership of the Holy Spirit I submit to his anointing I will never try to do anything without his anointing without his empowerment without the unction of the Spirit together with the Holy Spirit my life becomes an awesome wonder that's right. That's right. I know some of you think I'm just talking. Help that lady under the anointing there, please. I know some of you think I'm just speaking and making noise. No, sir. We are not teaching you cunningly devised fables. That which we have seen. That which we have heard. That which our hands have handled. This is what we bring. The sickness in your body can leave because he is here. You see that? The disease in your life and all these things can leave because he is here. The oppression in your life, the retrogression, the mountain that stands before you, you have been staring at it for years. Can you shift back and let your senior partner stare that mountain for you and watch the way he will dissolve it? Your, your calling it a mountain is relative to your perception step back and let the creator of the heavens and the earth the one who the mountains keep like lambs before him hallelujah let's end with this scripture daniel 11 verse 32 i have to stop here so we'll pray daniel 11 and such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries he says but the people that do know their god not their neighbor's god but the people that do know their god the first thing that should happen to them is capacity in the spirit and the second thing that happens to them is that they are graced to do exploits listen brothers and sisters this thing is not by might zechariah chapter 4 give it to us please and verse 6 it is not by might it is not by power it's by the spirit the empowerment of the spirit when you walk with the holy spirit he empowers you to represent him when you walk with the holy spirit he takes away fear from you your life no longer becomes a thing of fear this fear all around is a product of our thinking that all the results will come from us the bible says then he answered and spake unto me this is the word of the lord unto zerubbabel unto joshua selman unto koinonia saying 
not by might you won't build that house by might you won't build it by power no your cgpa will not change by might not by power reducing your prayer time will not change it throwing away your good friends will not change it it is by the spirit the next time people ask you how was this result by the spirit by the spirit by the spirit koinonia by the spirit his wisdom upon us by the spirit leadership by the spirit the miracles tonight by the spirit the impartation by the spirit i have learned to walk with him i have learned to walk with him i have learned to walk closely with him he promised me listen the holy spirit never promised me money the holy spirit never promised me fame listen carefully the holy spirit never promised me title the holy spirit never promised me good clothes the holy spirit never promised me crowds the holy spirit never promised me ministry but he promised to be a representation of the presence of god and to empower me continually the only thing he promised me is still what he is keeping because every other thing the highest value a man can have on earth is to be anointed the highest value you can possess on earth is to sustain an ability to provide solutions that are supernatural Where your word becomes his word the holy spirit has possessed me like a demon literally every part of me every part of me when i speak is his voice when i bless is his authority when i command it is his authority speaking it is based on this consciousness that we can gather people and say come bring your pain bring your burdens bring it there are people here sick there are people here saying apostle can my life change keep watching you're about to watch the biggest drama in your life how fast situations can change because of him man of god you need him businessman businesswoman you need him you don't need bottles of minerals you don't need a bigger container you need him and his wisdom are we together now i said it last week the key to working with him is communion fellowship fellowship whatever you bring to the stage of life is the product of your secret place with him you're not going to stand here and fake relationship with him no sir no sir many people do it and disgrace themselves whatever you bring to the stage of life is an effulgence of your secret place so when i stand here when i'm preparing to go for koinonia i imagine him just waiting happily I know he's here but he's also with me and as i enter while i'm coming those who come usually a protocol person follows me and as soon as we take this turn and i see people they just see me smiling they don't know why i'm smiling when i come here and i sit down here i'm just watching people and watching the testimonies in my mind i look around and sometimes the lord keeps showing me the visions of people's issues and then i am overjoyed you see me waiting i can't wait for worship team to finish singing do you know why because i want him to speak to you when he holds this mic through my hands and he speaks to you through my voice and commands situations and circumstances then you will watch them melt away ah. you are amazing you are amazing you are amazing 
are amazing. You are amazing. You are amazing. You are amazing. You are amazing. Some of you, as you are going, you will see phone calls that should not enter. Listen, every time you see anything unusual, smile back to him and say, My partner at work, at work, Shalabakotaya, my partner at work. You go back to that ministry, fire on the altar, my partner at work. You are lying down and sleeping, and a dream comes with a powerful idea, my partner working while i'm sleeping somebody calls you and says sorry i i used to work against you but now i repent someone at the backside has been compelling him are we to, are we together do you believe all that i've shared or are you just excited i can't speak hausa the holy spirit does not speak english I can't speak Yoruba. I can't speak this. No. No. Apostle, I am so weak. I am, I am like a non-entity. No problem. You are the exact candidate for partnership with him. So that at the end of it, the excellency of power may be of God and not of you. Rise up on your feet. Let's stop here. I want you to lift your voice in one minute and cry passionately and say Holy Spirit more than ever before more than ever before I want to walk with you lift your voice and pray change our lives anoint us anoint me anoint me empower my destiny anoint me that's your prayer tonight anoint me fresh anointing fresh fire I want to walk with you I want to walk with you doing wonders with you changing lives with you transforming destinies with you Transforming destinies. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, I worship you. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, I worship. 
Lamb of God I worship you 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 But thou, O oh Lord Had a shield for me My glory And the lifter up of my head Regardless of what it has been in my life But thou, O oh Lord Had a shield for me My glory And the lifter up of my head Hello, give Madonna yeah. Listen, there is a fresh impartation that is coming upon your life. An impartation is a transference of unction. It's a transference of possibilities. So that what was not in your life, all of a sudden, is activated in your life. What you have no business seeing in your life, steps into your life. And you begin to walk in those dimensions. Hallelujah. 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 Please lift your hands. We're going to be fast. Tonight, tonight's session is an impartation. Please, I want you to believe it. I don't know how else to convince you. There are things, graces and dimensions that we need in our lives, but we cannot access in ourselves. But if we believe them, if we believe them, if we believe them, we will see it. Hallelujah. The first impartation God is releasing tonight, and I want you to bring those people out. There is a strange grace I see for speed, and the Lord is saying I should stretch my hands. It's a dimension of the spirit. It's a year of triumph. God is bringing speed. Right now, I stretch my hands. Let it be now, inside and outside. Speed. 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 inside outside everywhere speed like fire is coming on your chest it's coming on people's chest i don't know why but it's coming on people's chest a strange mantle grace for speed an impartation of the anointing for speed Malaka Braskatabash, Legate Kosoto Prezia, is by the Spirit, is by the Spirit. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I'm seeing 27 people. 
climbing ladders in the spirit let it be now let it be now now the anointing of the spirit is locating those people it's a new dimension and seeing ascendance in the spirit people rising that's what i'm seeing rising climb that ladder is happening to you there is an energy of the spirit that is taking men to this dimension 27 people inside outside i'm seeing it happen by the spirit men rising to new levels of possibilities we may not have space to bring everybody out but we'll just guide them somewhere rising 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 from one dimension one dimension one dimension please i want you to lift your hands up lift your hands up my hands are shaking and the lord is telling me that he wants to do an impartation of the healing anointing now listen the healing anointing right now in the name of jesus it will come on your hands it will come on your hands it will come on your hands take it now take it now take it now the ministry of healing not just an emotional ministry a real dimension laying hands on the sick by the influence of the holy ghost and watching dramatic miracles 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 I'm under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me I'm under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me Yeah, I am there the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me i'm under the shadow of your wings there are people here praying lord prove to me that i'm called into the ministry the lord is saying an anointing is coming on you now as a proof as i'm speaking you may not even know but that grace, that grace, that grace is a sign. It's a sign. It's a sign. It's a token. Right now, right now, it's coming on people. A sign. A token. A sign. A token. Many ladies, many ladies are experiencing this sign. A sign. A sign of his hand upon your life he's giving you a sign beyond any shadow of doubt i'm hearing in my spirit the spirit of wisdom the spirit of wisdom the spirit of wisdom the lord is asking me to count four one two three four take it now let it be yours straight wisdom i'm seeing mantles falling mantles falling strange wisdom coming from heaven strange wisdom coming from heaven receive it right now supernatural wisdom supernatural wisdom supernatural wisdom hallelujah the lord is showing me somebody who used to have dreams and everything you see will come to pass but he stopped 
right now i'm seeing a grace for restoration coming upon you right now in the name of jesus it's not a general prophecy there are exact people that this is happening to a restoration a restoration a restoration a restoration a restoration hallelujah there is a grace i feel like praying for students there is a grace for academic excellence listen it doesn't just happen believe me it's not just about what you learn there is a grace there is a, an exact grace for this lord i pray right now in the name that is above all names i stretch my hands to your people as many oh god as will please you let this baptism of this unction for extraordinary understanding let it come upon them right now at the count of three receive it now one two three take it now please help them receive that grace right now it's coming upon you extraordinary intelligence capacity to assimilate capacity to understand capacity to understand hallelujah hallelujah that fair lady that shared her testimony lift your hands i see an angel pouring something like fire on your head father in the name of jesus let us step into a level of extraordinary intelligence i don't know you but i release that grace upon you from today you a strange dimension of grace and intelligence in the name of jesus receive it right now by the power of the holy spirit receive it right now by the power of the holy spirit by the power of the holy spirit there is a grace for entrepreneurship creativity witty inventions in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing at least 43 people right now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands let it come on them oh god believe it let it come on them oh god let it come on them oh god in the name of jesus let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands now. 43. I'm seeing a number 43. Strange ideas coming on your spirit now. Strange ideas. Creative ideas. Strange ideas. Creative ideas. Receive it right now. I want to pray for those in ministry. There is always an unction for the next dimension i don't know where you are but you're going to begin to feel fire from your feet rising upwards that's the instruction god is giving me in the name of jesus lord i'm praying right now fresh fire fresh mantle let it begin to arise now you are in ministry in this place begin to receive it right now in the name of jesus receive it right now in the name of jesus receive it right now those in ministry help them shepardo to sokoto baria lekate koto so preska la bariata jabrate so so pe sokoto strange fire i see strange fire rising from the feet right on top from the feet rise on top from the feet please help them in the name of jesus can you carry the child so that he doesn't in the name of jesus strange fire revival fire supernatural unction supernatural unction supernatural unction supernatural unction hallelujah the lord is ministering to me about a group of people here that he wants to bring into intimacy with him there is a dimension of intimacy it will surprise you you will start finding out that you are going alone to go and sit in a place the holy spirit wants to reintroduce himself 
to certain people lord where are they where are they find them find them tonight find rest in them where are these men and women where are these men and women that you want to introduce yourself to shake it take it beyond church beyond church beyond church Arado Supragadiza la Curiata. Hallelujah. Ah! I'm seeing people here who will be burning for days like fire, literal physical fire that will not stop. You will go with it, you will wake up with it, it will continue. There is an energizing of the spirit that is happening to people, an energizing of the spirit happening to people. It's a fresh fire. It's a fresh fire. Hallelujah. If you came with anything that is a point of contact, whether a document, certificate, whatever it is that is a point of contact, whether you are inside or outside, anything you can use i want you to lift it up so many things are happening to people in the realm of the spirit there's someone at the media stand the lord is lifting that person to the next level i'm seeing someone in a vision down at the media stand stepping up let them enter oh god right now let them enter into that realm that dimension somebody at the media stand the lord is, is like an initiation into a dimension into a dimension hallelujah acts chapter 19 says handkerchiefs and aprons handkerchiefs and aprons i've explained to you the mystery behind these results no man can speak over your life and you just have results like that it, it doesn't happen that way i'm about to speak over your points of contact if you don't have anything you are the point of contact yourself are we together many of you will be surprised believe me believe me many of you will be surprised at the dramatic things that will happen we are talking about the holy spirit here we are not just talking about an anointed man we are talking about the holy spirit his anointing like a cloud comes to mantle certain aspects of your life and you see grace speaking for you grace speaking for you lift it up you can lift your hands ready to speak now in the name that is above all names I prophesy upon every point of contact you are using now let a let a grace the power of performance that makes things to work I release it right now upon that instrument I release it upon your documents I release it upon your pictures I release it upon your certificates I release it upon your proposals hear me whatever you are agreeing for as a point of contact I give life to it now. 
in the name of Jesus Christ and I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit a dimension of results you have never seen begin to see it now I speak to every CGPA that is down here hear my voice I speak as one sent by the Lord I command you to arise now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ there are people who are supposed to graduate but as it is now it looks like they may not graduate I change it now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I decree and declare where your helpers have passed you and ignored you i put an anointing on you that will compel them to bless you i put an anointing on you that will compel them to bless you listen everything that used to flow in your life and stopped mysteriously i opened the door for it to continue everyone here in business any kind of godly business i stretch my hands enter a level of rest now believe what i'm praying for you i bring you into a dimension of rest now every troubled family here all kinds of troubles from lack of finances to trouble to fight to quarrel in the name of Jesus I introduce an anointing to that family and I command let there be peace right now 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 every troubled family let there be peace right now there are people here who need divine direction as a matter of urgency I speak to you hear his voice and hear it clear hear his voice and hear it clear hear his voice and hear it clear in the name of jesus christ in dreams and visions may his will be made known to you in the name of jesus christ i command every manifestation of the spirit of fear fear of the unknown fear of the future uncertainties around your life that is making you do foolish things i command right now fear go in the name of jesus 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 every veil of disfavor that is around your life that makes things to work for others until it gets to your turn and then mysteriously when the breakthrough is almost coming you never see it i decree and declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, I command that captivity to end now. I command that captivity to end now. Hear me. Everyone called jobless here. I stand in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. I decree and declare may your miracle job find you believe what you are hearing may your miracle job find you in the name of jesus now i pray for anyone here having any infirmity i don't care what it is i don't care how long any stranger in your body a lady is going to shout now under the anointing and then the power of god for healing will touch people in the name of Jesus, I command be healed now. Say amen. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. 
every blood disease be healed now ulcers be healed now migraines be healed now every kind of abnormal condition in your body be healed now growths and lumps around the body whether breast lumps all kinds of lumps i command that they disappear right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i pray for your family in the name of jesus between now and the next seven days may you hear strange testimonies from hope please believe me i say it again between now and the next seven days i stand in the name of the lord god of heaven and i command in the next seven days unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies it doesn't take time it takes his anointing everything that your hands have done and it did not work i stretch my hands to yours and i command from today become a proof producer i command today become a result producer become a result producer become a proof producer in the name of jesus hear me every pending issue over your life every pending issue any kind of pending issue right now issues that have been hanging in the realm of the spirit and will not be resolved i decree and declare let an end come to those issues now let an end come to those issues now let an end come to those issues now every family here that has experienced delay as a family not an individual alone shake it here yeah. there is unction upon me the hand of god is upon me in the name of jesus i decree and declare the lord is asking me to push families forward i push you forward now by the mystery of prophecy i push you forward now i push you forward now hear me in the name of jesus christ whoever must show up in your life and lift you and lift your mother and lift your father and wipe your tears in the name of jesus i stand by the god of heaven whose i am and i decree and declare that between now and the next two weeks strange encounters strange encounters strange encounters with the gift of men strange encounters strange encounters mysterious coincidences that will lead to your breakthrough everything that has died in your hands and in your life hear the word of the lord i command it to come back to life now i want to pray please drop your hands just the brothers lift your hands i want to release upon you grace for establishment listen if you are wise you will pay attention to what i'm saying there is a grace that establishes men are we together now establishment is where you gain stability in life financially are we together relationally spiritually purposefully there are many men many church brothers 
The reason why many people are not in relationships, the reason why many people cannot move forward in their life is because the devil has taken this aspect out of their lives. So you find a godly brother, but you are 35 years, you are still begging for money. You are still living in your parents' house. It's a curse. Lift your hands. In the name of Jesus, I pray for every brother here. The grace and the unction that turns weak men into great men. The grace and the unction that establishes men financially, ministerially, career-wise, and in purpose at the count of three in the name of jesus christ whose i am and whom i serve i decree and declare may that grace come upon you now one two three take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now upon you i command that grace there is a gentleman outside that grace is coming upon him in a mighty way Take that grace right now. Brothers, receive it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. It is this grace that brings speed of establishment in your life. Help us come to support you to gain your footing in life. It's not just by growing old. There is a grace. You don't have to pay for everything by yourself. There is a grace that sends helpers to your life to your ministry establishment is a mystery in the spirit you can have a thing but when you are established you are you are well stabilized enough to now begin to be a blessing to others there are many people who are experiencing finances here but they are not established you are established means you can bless others without being affected established in wisdom your mind is developed so that you no longer act like a child. Two more prayers and we are done tonight. The Lord is ministering to me. The Lord is ministering to me that he wants to take away barrenness. 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 It doesn't just mean physical barrenness alone. Unproductivity is a cause is the cause of hardship the classic sign that a man is carrying that demonic thing is barrenness in the name of jesus i command your desert to become a fruitful vine in the name of jesus i command your fruitful vine to become a forest i say it again in the name of jesus i command your desert to be a fruitful vine I command your desert to be a fruitful fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In one minute, I want you to ask the Lord for any one thing. I'm releasing my faith with you. Just one thing. Lift your voice and pray. I'm releasing my faith with you. Please pray. One minute. Ask the Lord and watch it happen. I release my faith with you in the name of Jesus. I release my faith with you. Ask the Lord. Don't say it is impossible. We are talking about the God of heaven here. We are talking about the spirit of the living God. What you see is the ministry of the spirit. The ministry of the spirit. Ask what you will. And it be granted unto you by the spirit of God. Are you praying? Just one thing, change my life. Just one thing, give me laughter. Just one thing, answer my marriage. Just one thing, give me a child. Just one thing, settle me financially. Just one thing, multiply your grace on my life. Hallelujah. Whatever it is that you have asked the Lord, I release my faith with you and I call it your testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release my faith with you 
and I call it your testimony. Listen, the Bible says, and whatsoever Adam called it, that was the name thereof. If it is called a testimony, then it becomes a testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ, no matter how impossible it is, may the God of all flesh, the God of Jeshurun, that rides upon the wings of the wind, I pray that he will step into your life and give you dramatic testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Listen, as you go back this night, don't be careless. Meditate. Meditate on the things you have received and begin to walk conscious of it. Do you know many of you, as a result of today's meeting, you will literally start feeling the presence of the Holy Spirit like a presence walking, literally, literally. I mean what I'm saying literally walking like someone walking you enter a room some of you you will feel it as wind some of you you will see that shadow a similitude of his presence you will begin to have encounters not demonic encounters encounters with his presence you will be sleeping hear me you will be sleeping and you will feel a physical touch a man will wake you you will be alone in the room yet you will hear a voice clear a real voice you will know that this is the spirit of God leading you in the name of Jesus I activate that dimension begin to walk in the impulses of the spirit the voice of the spirit the touch of the spirit the feelings of the spirit I program your spirit man to understand the impulses of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ yes he will come to you he will come to you he will open your bible when you are sleeping you will wake up and see your bible open he will write notes and leave it physical notes on papers you will see it happen you will pray and he will come to your room like benny Hinn, it will be good morning holy spirit you will have similitudes of encounters with him you will sleep in the night and your whole night will be full of visions 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 encounters visions encounters visions hear me men will come and sit on your bed and start shaking under the anointing because something a deposit of eternity has followed you they will wear your clothes and the mantle will catch up with them they will wear your shoes they will eat in your plates and you will carry strange fire in the name of jesus you will hear men call you and confess and tell you i'm sorry i'm the one who stole your laptop i'm sorry i'm the one who took this from you i'm sorry because of the presence of god listen by this new dimension of encounter I command that you become untouchable untouchable by witches and wizards untouchable by accidents untouchable by bomb blast untouchable by arm robbers in the name of Jesus hear me quarter to shame your senior partner will arise for you no longer will people say where is your god your life will be an answer to that prophecy in the name of jesus christ listen there are some of you here what has happened to you tonight it will last for a long time the word of god the bible will open to you in a fresh way a way that you have never seen it a dimension that you have never seen hear me some of you after tonight god will start giving you instructions to go and pray for certain people don't be afraid you will go and you will watch miracles erupt signs and wonders erupt in the name of jesus christ hallelujah father i asked finally 
that everyone following online everyone following here inside and in any of the overflows everything that has made men mock god in your life i am agreeing with you from the depth of my heart i give you the next 13 days surprise them surprise them with the enviable results that will come from your life surprise your accusers surprise everyone who knew you in the name of jesus wave your hands to jesus listen this is how men are made in the kingdom products of transfers spiritual transfers spiritual deposits something that was not in your life coming upon your life and creating a sin in your life that was not there never act like you don't know how it came it's by the spirit fellowship with the spirit fellowship with the spirit pray in the spirit and then you walk in those dimensions hallelujah thank you jesus for that which you have done tonight much more than these teachings oh god invade the life of your people and cause them to know you in the name of jesus christ keep standing if you can very quickly there are people here your first encounter with the holy spirit tonight is as a convictor he's convicting you of sin of righteousness and of judgment there are people here who listening to me overflow one two three online and right here there are people here who are saying man of god i don't like the way my life is and i want to come to jesus i want to run to him i want to start afresh please pay attention don't be busy let me have your attention this is a very important call there are others who are saying man of god I have responded to an altar call before but now i need to start afresh with god i don't know how things went haywire in my life but right now i'm running to him in the next two minutes if you belong to any of these categories the holy spirit is already convicting you i want you to run whether you are inside or outside run quickly come and stand here quickly the Holy Spirit is calling you. Are you coming? Quickly. Koinonia, celebrate them. If you are outside, run, 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 run. Follow any of the doors and make your way inside. Quickly. I didn't say walk. Please run. Our time is gone. Run. Like you are coming to receive an award. Run. Like your life is about to change. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be ashamed. He's giving you a new beginning. Don't say they know me. That's nobody's business. This is an affair between you and the lover of your soul. There are still more people to come. Are you ashamed or are you rushing to come? Are you ashamed or are you rushing to come? Don't act like you're not hearing his voice. Those outside, make your way. Quickly, quickly, make your way. Join them if you're coming. Those of us here, I salute you. Some of you are making this decision for the first time. Some of you have made this decision before and your life just scattered and you are getting back to him. It doesn't matter what category. If you're joining them, please help this. Our mother, she's joining them. Make your way quickly. It doesn't matter what you have done. He's giving you a new beginning. When you stand here, lift your right hand and say it sincerely and truthfully make sure that you are making a decision that is genuine not just an emotional decision say after me lord jesus i love you and i believe in you tonight i have heard your word i need the holy spirit in my life i ask you jesus to forgive me to cleanse me give me a new beginning from today I declare that my sins are forgiven I declare that the life of God is in me I'm a child of God the Holy Spirit 
lives in me in the name of jesus father i pray that you preserve these ones i decree and declare that guilt leaves your life i decree and declare that condemnation leaves your life from today the lord gives you a new beginning i supply grace for you to live a victorious christian life in the name of jesus christ amen and amen god bless you now i want you to follow the lady waving her hands you're quite many just coordinate yourselves and quickly follow that lady that would have a word or two with you outside and require that you um you just do one or two things your life will change forever in jesus name koinonia let's honor god for them Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin